How are we all doing? How are we all good? Oh look, the hype trains are rolling already. How are we doing? We all good? Oh, freak shop, well thank you for the tenor there. Cheers. Hello, that bunty. Hello, son of a bitch. Oh, thank you so much, dude. Zach T. Dark, Ebenezer Prime, Jazz Manchild, Matt Major. Um, Raina, hello, Goona Lee. Wow, Snorkers, thank you for gifting a sub to Bunty. Well, thank you so much for that. Fun. Cheers. Please welcome to the Fight Palace. Frazzleface, thank you for subscribing. Welcome yourself to the Fight Palace. 
Win Da Vinci, Jay is Manchild, obviously you're here. Mm. SP Wolf Tech, Paradox, Matt, Manic Panic. Manic Panic, thank you for the three months. Please retake your seat. Sentry Dish as well. Please take your seat back in the Fight Palace. Give Shame that you missed the PS1 A to Z, indeed. A shame, indeed. That bunty, thank you for following. Who else? Anyone else I'm missing? Dribbly Cack, hello. Devriac, hello. ZLMO Z, yay. Here we fucking go, Welcome indeed. To the fight Bloody hell, goodness me. Um, oh, where are we doing? Where are we doing? Fugazi Twitch, thank you for following. Welcome to the Fire Bounce. Now my phone's going as well. Um, Wolf Game of Lad, thank you for following. Welcome to Axe La Damned. Hello, Anthony. Hello, Kapotkin. What well, hopes not, thank you for gifting that sub to Frazzleface, dude. Much, much appreciated. Care 666, Mystery Codis, Papa Meow Meow, thank you for following. Welcome to the ranks of the Damned, Grant D. You're a league playoff double feature. I'm doing great, Matt. I'm doing absolutely great. Hello, Boulders. <clears throat> well, I think I just said, hello, David. Hello, Utopia. Hollow Man. Good to see you all. Hopefully you are all ready for tonight, because I know I am. Yes, we get to see the bald man acting. Doing some acting. I am an actor. <laughs> I am an actor like Brian Blessed. <laughs> Hello, Bobby Nighter. How you doing, matey? So, yes, tonight is Amiga A to Z Part 4. You got a new world. You got it good. So, yes, there's... um. It's a pretty interesting lot on the uh, slate tonight. Even beside Allo Allo. Yeah, there will be some shit tonight, third fall. American Gladiators is on here tonight as well. Only Amiga makes it possible. But yes, this is very much um, a low and low night. I'm expecting, well, we've got all the Alien games to get through. There's a few of those. There's a few Alien games. Some pretty good ones, actually. A low and low will probably be coming in around about the middle of the stream, I would say. Something like that. Tonight, living for tonight, oh, exactly. Udo Dirk Schneider. So yes, hold on tight, everybody. Jay is a man-child's glorious day has finally come. I'm sure a lot of you were expecting, were eagerly awaiting a lower low as well, mind you. So as usual, hopefully we'll get to about 25 to 30 games tonight. As usual, I'm reckoning, which I think should take us, if possible, if possible, I'd like to get to Anarchy. That's what I'd like to get to. So uh, we shall see how we go. If not Anarchy, then like a Amigo Encounter is the other one probably. Hello, no shit. Give me more soldiers, noble leader. Zed Elma Zed, thank you for following. Welcome to Excellent. So let's get started. So we've got basically, first off, we have every alien game aside from Alien Breed, which we did at the end of last week's stream. We did all the Alien Give Breed games. Soldiers, leader, Mystery Codis, thank you for following. Welcome to the Ranks of the Damned. <laughs> this A to Z is going to go on for a year. God, <laughs> longer than that, maybe, Boulders. <laughs> Hello, Numbers of the Beast. It's going to go on for a long time. I mean, when you think like 25 to 30 games each stream... Like, there's a good couple of thousand games at least here. Yeah, it's going to go on for a while. <laughs> yeah, Alien 3 plays well, but I, I find the port a little half fast. Yep, yeah, we did Alien Breed 3D. Yep, yeah, we did all the Alien Breed games at the end of the last stream. Well, the last, like, hour and a half or so, anyway. Is Allo Allo versus Alien on the list? <laughs> we can only wish. But the only um, alien crossover like that I can think of is the fucking Popeye wrestling game. Hello, Tailster. <laughs> so, um, without any further ado, I suppose we ought to get started. Um, so, our first game is the quite wonderfully tiled. I will be 120 when I'm done. No shit, no right. <laughs> Indeed, third fall. There are many, many genuinely forgotten bad games out there. Many, many, many of them. S Hello, Tot Boss. Oh, nice to see all of you tonight, folks. Hello, Retro Smitro. You came here to see Weird Dreams. You're a patient guy. Yeah, you certainly will be. <laughs> Plays an actual Nazi, except nicer. Yeah, strange show, isn't it? <laughs> 
There's no alien, it was Leclerc all along. <laughs> yes, we should be getting to weird dreams, I don't know, sometime about 2022, I guess, and my guess. <laughs> Right, so our first game is the awesomely titled Alien Drug Lords, The Cryopian Connection. That's a pretty good title, I'm sure you'll agree. Hello, hi, sir. <laughs> Righty, matey, flap old, salty, sea dog, amigo, skip, jack, jock, stack, piano, tune, and me old pal from the briny. <laughs> yes, hopefully we will see some lost gems. I'm hoping for some good stuff out of this alien lot. And hopefully, because we seem to have one of our first game not working at all, Hopefully this game works. So this is Alien Drug Lords. It has to ban it. Better bloody ban. Travelling halfway across the universe just to deal drugs to teenagers down Kim's local park. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest game's title ever. I quite like Leather Goddesses or Phobos. You doubt this got a Saturday morning cartoon somehow. <laughs> it's got a nice workbench screen as well. Look at that. Don't you just love these Amiga screens? These Amiga icons? Fucking superb, isn't it? My name is Uncle Groucho. You win a fat cigar. Yeah, that, that is a fucking awesome title. Gotta love a bit of Automator. Mel Croucher. How to be a complete bastard. I oh, thank you, Towster. Right, ADL. ADL. Fat worm blows the sparky. Yeah, that's another good one. Evening, Sam. How you doing? Evening, Hazemaker. How you doing, matey? Shout out to Hazemaker. Tony Tiger, thank you for following. Welcome to Lanxler Damned. Shout out to Hazemaker, awesome microcomputer centric streamer. Hey, Zeno Z. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the Fight Palace. Ooh, look at these high west panthers. Walk straight, my hamster. Panther Games. Proprietary Limited. <coughs> yes, yeah, Mel Crouch's Automator is a very eccentric software house. And Mel Crouch is certainly a man of letters. If you follow him on Facebook, he does put up these in incredibly literary and very long posts. They're usually quite worth reading. Was school days on Amiga? No. Nah. Shame, but no. Unless there's like some, I don't know, there's a chance there might be some like homebrew port of it. We could be Wolf Gamer, right? We could well be. Could well be in. That title screen's not as well drawn. My favourite genre of games, and that's a quite a tricky one, I would say. If I had to pick one, I quite like a good platformer. I like a good platformer, to be honest. Ooh, pew, 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 pew. God, this, this bloody alien's got arms friggin' everywhere, isn't he? You're a man of theirs, but then you realise they were all bills. <laughs> Am I going to pick up Crash 4? Uh, probably not. Probably not. Even though it is real good, as I hear. Did I enjoy the game Bully? Yes, yes I did. Very much so. I mean, at some point, maybe. I mean... But probably not unless it's coming on PC. <laughs> oh, awesome, Grant. The alien looks like if the wrestler crush had been genetically altered. Not yet, Century Dish. I can't play it on my PC because I don't have Windows 10. Which sucks. Well, I guess I'm a new adventurer. A new adventurer exploring strange new worlds. Crush was genetically altered in the same ways. Yes, he did, Badre. Mel Croucher. <laughs> what bar was the intro alien? Welcome to Cryopia. Spaceport computer advisors upgrade of trade as pass. Bribe required. <laughs> My favourite crush. My favourite crush. Well, what crushes have you got? You've got Brian Adams, obviously. What, you've got um, Demolition Crush. 
Kung Fu Warrior Crush, The Son Orange Crush by R.E.M. The Son Crush by Jennifer Page, One Hit Wonder. No, it's not blasphemous to discuss new games. A demo for an old indie game whose menu screen had the words, Hey prick, start the game on it. That's forward, isn't it? Did I ever play the Mega Drive collection? If so, what did I think of it? Yeah, I thought it was good. The one on what? The one on the Xbox 360. I played that one. And I have the PC one. So yeah, that, that was all good stuff there. Sonic Crush, Sonic Crush. <laughs> the PS4, oh yeah, the same one on some PC. Yeah, it's a good collection. It's just a little crush. Right, what are we doing? Got my... It's wise to close the door before takeoff. Oh dear, well, we opened it, didn't we? <coughs> so I've already died. I'm, you're going to have that son stuck in there. I'm sorry, Bunty. <laughs> I accidentally opened the door then, which was apparently a bad idea. Every t what do I use for emulation? I use a program called FSUAE Wanderer. Is my program of choice. One of those games, like Tuesday. So I guess we just, what, press the red button and take off? Laser attack from Crystal City. Frank Butcher goes to space with beer. Slarty Bark Fast is pretty awesome. Oh, great, I, I was just killed. I just pressed a button and I died. You've had no way, no way stuck in your head. <laughs> yeah, that's a multicoloured screen. Yes, we can agree, Budre. It's based on people's, well, ridiculous friggin' biases. It's like, ah, I hate this guy who made it. Wee, colour armour. Yeah, you didn't read the 50 page manual. You forgot to mention how much you hated Goodnight Sweetheart. Hmm, yeah. Normally I'd join you in for a kick in, but yeah, not today. But yeah, it, it was not a good show. <laughs> I have received, right, okay, I've given you the bribe. So now can I take off? No, I'm getting attacked again. There were girls doing girl kisses in the game. <laughs> you have almost three care points, so you're doing this. Give me more soldiers, hey, Duncan Woodward, how you doing? Thank you for following, dude. Welcome to Lorenx of the Damned. Cheers to you. Um, <laughs> bloody hell. Uh, yeah, there's no in-between on, on Metacritic, by the way. I don't really use the site at all. Yeah, it never really judged Gary for being a bigamist, did it? Like, poor... You've got to feel for poor Yvonne, don't you? Just doesn't ever seem to do anything but whine and get ill while he's gallivanting around time and cheating on her. <laughs> this game just doesn't want the player involved at all. Yeah. <laughs> so... So how do I avoid dying? Can I leave the door? Can I get out? Oh, if I press the button, I seem to be doing some. Hello, Dungeon Seeker. Don't worry, you're not missing too much. There's a watering can. My hero, oh god, did not like that show. Mm. 
the one with Ardela Hanlon. <laughs> Gary got to eat spam fritters. Yes, I can progress in Alfred Chicken now. <laughs> Don't forget the water in can, kids. <laughs> That's a clue, by the way. I am Alfred Chicken. Oh, excellent, Duncan. I'm glad to hear it. I know you're, I know you're a big fan of your Amiga. Your Amiga. Um, this seems like it's okay, but I have no idea what I'm doing. So I don't, I can't really say much more about this game, really. Because I just, it's like, it is like a first person adventure of sorts, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know, I'm not really going to say anything about that. You think I'd all regenerated into James Dreyfus at some point? It let me down, it let itself down. Okay, so next, I'm sure you're all also looking forward to Alien Fish Finger. But before that, we have Alien Fires 2199 AD. I'll have to look a bit further into that Alien Drug Lords, I think. Because I'm not, I'm curious about it, but it's obviously not something I could get too far into in like 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, certainly an obscurity, that one. Alien Fish Finger sounds like a Brazzers video. Yes, Alien Fish Finger, that is a game that is coming up. That space sitcom that wasn't Red Dwarf a few years back was a Hyperdrive. That was the one with Kevin Eldon in it. The actor Kevin Eldon. No, you haven't missed Hello Hello, don't worry, Marcus. You have not missed it. It was renamed Alien Fish Stick in the US. <laughs> Hollowed out and filled with dog shit fish finger. <laughs> Smell my cheese, you mother. Give me more soldiers, noble leader, that they may feed their swords <laughs> What a name. Hearts of our enemies. Two girls, one cup, 1080p. Thank you for following. Welcome to Lorenx Ladant. What a name. <laughs> British Empire's probably better left in my memory. Uh, as you know, British Empire's alright. Yes, the actor Kevin Eldon. Yeah, Nick Frost was the lead in um, Hyperdrive. Bit of sample music here, isn't it? Bit of guitar. No, you can't go too on with Chris Barry, I suppose. Create a new Time Lord, eh? A new Time Lord? <laughs> Um, what am I going to be good in? I don't know. Diplomacy. Diplomacy, understanding. Uh, fighting. Marksmanship. Do I ever play Acorn Electron games? I don't have masses of experience with Acorn Electron, it has to be said. Like, I have bits and pieces here and there, but it's not, like, a big machine for me. I'm imagining that is definitely the case, QM Screw. You used to cook fish fingers in the toaster. Ooh, that's, that's a pretty solid approach, but yeah, I would have thought it would... Um, yeah, I thought that's exactly what would happen, Dungeon Seeker. Ah, the poor sod. <laughs> At least he was in Tomb Raider. The mysteriously vanished Samuel Kurtz destroy all traces of the time transportation device which he has begun work on, thereby proving yourself worthy of the recognition of the Time Lord Elders. Right up. The Time Lord Elders can eat my shorts. Is the Time Lord related to the Storm Lord? <laughs>
Samuel Kurtz says this is going to be like Heart of Darkness. Oh, hello, look at this. Okay. So what are we doing here then? <laughs> Written in Amos. This is true, Sam Vega. Okay, so I'm not exactly entirely sure of what we're doing or where I'm supposed to click or anything at all, which is always good. <laughs> Nothing classier than the standard Amiga Workbench point of game. Hey, look, it does. Look, it does change. So what am I even doing? Is this just this? This just feels like a bloody screensaver at this moment. Oh hello, do you click on that? Yeah, behold, sixty percent of the budget. <laughs> right, where do you even click? I'm just I'm clicking everywhere. It's a ship with Octo written on it. It'll crash immediately. Yeah, left clicking, right clicking, both clicking. Um. <laughs> yeah, this will exactly some of the Fitch. Yeah, I've already finished the game. I, I done it. I did it. It's all over. Oh, hello. What have I done? Speech. Yeah, how's that? Did Andy Warhol do this as an experiment? Yeah, this was made on Amiga 1000. Um, how did I get speech up again? Okay, yeah, um, can't, I, yeah, can't get anywhere with this. Why are we flying a pyramid through space? Well, I guess we'll never know. This was a catchy baseline, wasn't it? Do 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 do. Don't use the flood field tool, Andy Warhol. It's not finished. <laughs> <laughs> right, next up we have a game. We're trying to fly to an Essex park to deal drugs. Next up, we have a game that's actually supposed to be very good. I've never played it before, but it's Alien Fish Finger, uh, 1995 by Skull Army. It's a shoot 'em up. I've heard this is good, so I'm I'm hoping for good things. And it is an awesome title, that is for sure. <coughs> Bald has been waiting for this. Hello, Nick. Sunday fish finger. <clears throat> Did he say that slow motion atomic bomb? That sucks. But I don't like fish fingers. Are you receiving me? Loud and clear. But I did an expansion pack. <clears throat> I have to salvage some triatoms, apparently. Chimps with tip type wires. <clears throat> Oh, a nice small sprite. Yes, gameplay at last, I know, right? Oh, nice animation on those spies. Ow. This game is seriously named Alien Fish Finger, yes. Mm. 
which is an absolutely amazing tile. I love this miniature pig slot, though. That's got it going on. Who has stolen his fish finger? Yes, that is something that we, we have a right to know, frankly. Ow. Right, come on, you. Tell you what, this is playing great so far, this is. How did anyone play this on a black and white 14 inch TV? Well, a lot of people wouldn't necessarily have played it on that, would it? They'd have played it on a nice crisp monitor. This is Alien Fish Finger Killer Shrew. Oh shit, I got killed from behind the screen. I'm doing good, dude. Thank you, Nick. Captain Bird's Eye's Fish Fingers. Love those ads when you were up in the UK. All right, good old Captain Bird's Eye. Captain Bird's Eye. Six bears. Captain Bird's Eye. Oh, hello. Look at this fella. This is not unlike playing like with fucking um, Risk of Rain, has to be said. Ha ha, there goes your head. There goes your head, now you're dead. Easier version, Risk of Rusk. <laughs> Suppose we are those spikes? Do we have to avoid them? Probably. Oh shit! Guys, this is superb. Like no, no word of a lie. This is actually superb. I don't know what the title's all about, Alien Fish Finger, but it's brilliant. Oh, we can bless food base. Yeah, I think I might well do, Bobby Nair. There's definitely a couple of games that I've thought about, like, doing, like... Like, maybe, like, just making, like, compilations of, like, ami like hidden gems from the A to Z. I don't know, something like that. Like, I was thinking, like, a good first one would be, like, Axis, Alien Bash 2. Definitely a couple of others. Air Airball. That was a good one, wasn't it? Can I get into this mech, do you reckon? No, sadly. Um, <laughs> Alien Bush 2, the vagina. <laughs> yes, take notes. Take tasting notes. Because seriously, this is legit good. Uh, that one was... What was that called? Um, we played that after... Um, quite a, after that axis, didn't we? And it was really good. Um, what was it called? Yeah, definitely Gross Maniac, I'd agree with that. Hello, Lodesome Greg. Let's stream about this game sponsored by Birdseye. <laughs> there we go. Adrenaline, that was it. Thank you, Amiga Square. Thank you, Matt. But now this is brilliant. Was this really for the A500? Um, I'll have to check. It came. It started doing A500 lower, didn't it? Good 
Gijons are above this captain's pay grade. This is OCS. Wow, okay. Oh, so what do we do here? Ah, hello. You can go at least. This was coded in Blitz Basic. Nice. Oh, shit. Why did the one-eyed chicken cross the road to get to the bird's eye shop? Uh, something like that, Bajra. I've not seen any adverts for it in a long time. You can't find a copy of this for love nor money. Oh. Yeah, you you are floating danger, Ibisa, with cheesy dad jokes like that one. Oh, shit, there I am. Well, that's the case with a lot of advertising these days, Bajre. Things do just generally look bland. <laughs> ah, I'm back to where I am. Oh, I started. I'm guessing I now have a power now. <clears throat> I should build an Amiga on stream. <laughs> you, Blake's 187, I'm, I am not technically minded in the slightest. There are, there are people who could definitely do such awesome things like that, but not me. <laughs> right, that is a brilliant fucking game. Um, that is absolutely brilliant. That's one of the best games, I think, legit one of the best games we've played so far. Absolutely wonderful. Really cannot, and no complaints. Welcome Alien Fish Finger. Yeah, and thank you for the four months, dude. Please, we take your seat in the Fight Palace. A definite gem, that one. Massive thumbs up. Justgiving.com Alien Fish Finger Fundraiser. What's that about? David Cruikshank. Hi, welcome to my Alien Fish Finger charity page. If you'd like to thank me for this game, there's no better way to say thanks by donating some money cash to my charity cancer research. Okay. He re-released it in 2011. Yeah, Retro Man Cave, he's good at um, doing, um, looking at the innards and building machines and stuff like that. Rosie and Jim did your head in. Rosie and Jim. Yeah, odd name for not bad game. No, no, excellent. Excellent game indeed. You found a wimpy COVID mask on eBay. Hello, Kampolski. Up next, folks, we have a game called Alien Legion from 1989. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to have a look. That's definitely going on my list of, like, great, awesome games that I've discovered through doing this. Hello, Severby. <laughs> You're beginning to sound like an outrage YouTuber. Be amused at. Can you get you some love for your girlfriend? Babs is dealing with a flooded kitchen for you right now. Ah, oh, Babs, well done, man. Thank you so much. Much love to you. Keep, keep on keeping on. Music by North Star, apparently. <laughs> Thanks, don't more like it. <laughs> Very jolly tune indeed. <laughs> Willie eating poop, Lord. Hope you get to the sequel Alien Turkey Twizzler tonight. Oh, it's just straight into it.
Hmm, okay. Alien Legion sponsored by the British Legion. <laughs> yeah, they went with this game instead of cannon fodder. Oh, shit. Okay, it just faded to black there. Yeah, bye, potion. See you later. Um, how did I not pick that up? Yeah, lack of inscrutable menus. Can you believe it? What's the world coming to? How do I pick up potion? Do I have... Okay, I just died again. The Legion of Superheroes. <laughs> The Lee, the Palace of Righteous Justice. Seems a little green beret like. I was actually thinking, this sprite. I thought this sprite doesn't half remind me of the sprite from Exelon. It, doesn't it remind anyone else of Exelon? A little. Only not as good. <laughs> Obviously. Yep, Duncan, yeah, you got it, and yeah. Oh, great. Oh, that's fine. Oh, look at that guy. Spinning the old hamster wheel. Yeah, Exelon was great on spec in PC. I've never heard the Amiga... I've never played the Amiga version of Exelon. I've heard it's very bad <laughs> on Amiga. Like, shockingly so. It's like, what the fuck did you do to the bloody thing? What did you do to this great game? Ah, we've reached a sub. Why did you just fall off the screen? Space Age Penny Farming. Oh, we died. They wrecked Exelon STM. Yeah, I heard that. Has Alien Drug Lord been played yet? Uh, we played it a little bit, Kampolski. Couldn't really make head nor tail of it, to be honest. So, yeah. No, it didn't seem bad for what it was, but yeah, just couldn't make head nor tail of it in the time. I take it, it was like an it's like an adventure game, isn't it? We died quite a lot at the start. Yes, yeah, so a reverse penny farthing. It was quite quite something, wasn't it? Now, that's certainly the most curious thing about this. Um, other than that, to be honest, I don't even know. I decided to pick this up and play it again, to be honest. You're here for drugs in the fall of Madonna with the big boobies. <laughs> yeah, he's got a bit of a funny walk, hasn't he? The crap of my pants walk, isn't it? You just get used to that crapness, don't you, Sam? Up to jump and shit, don't you? It's just like, eh, up to jump is what it is. <laughs> it's, a, it's a way of life, you know? Yeah, you can fly over 90% of the level. <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah, just jump to the water, don't you? Oh, oh, yeah, okay, I think we've had enough of this. It's, um, it's rubbish. Very boring, that. Certainly nothing compared to Alien Fish Finger. Did have a hard act to follow, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, definitely Zagabista. It was a bit dull. Right, next up we've got a game you all will know. You will all know this next game. Interesting that a low low lasted longer than World War Two. Yeah, it did, didn't it? So did Dad's Army. Not so Mega Man. Well, we've still got... Actually, I don't think any of... Oh, there's one other platform potentially coming up. Yes, it just drains your life in the classic hero platformer game. Well, you will all know this game because this next game is Alien Storm. Yeah, bloody Amiga games again. Well, Amiga 1200 game. I mean, for heaven's sake. <laughs> Mediocre man. Heartbeat lasted longer than the 60s, yeah. It's like, yeah, you're watching that and you're thinking, when the bloody hell are they going to get to the 1970s? Mash went on a lot longer than the Korean War. Did Sergeant Bilko go on longer than World War II? So this is a US gold port, everybody. This is Teartex. Teartex did this. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Wedge Shoe Diaries lasted longer than you keep in a diary. <laughs> 
Right, I always go for the android. Scooter. Scooter, brother! Aliens are in the city. Only you can save the people. <laughs> just everyone's just like, oh dear. Uh. Yeah, metal is strong indeed. Sound effects are a bit um, off, aren't they? The worst game so far. Alien Syndrome Paul was okay. We've not played that yet, Kampolski. The worst game that I've played so far. Ooh, there's a couple contenders. Akira is obviously up there or down there. Nope, you've not missed a low, low, low. Some Greg, don't worry. Scrolling shouldn't be that crap for me, Amiga. Uh, this this screams ST port to me. That like, absolutely screams it. And I'm wondering, is this even going to have the um, the Airbus flight sim? Well, we couldn't even get to play that, could we? Dick Tracy Amigo. Oh, God. I... Looking forward to that. I mean, we've not played that yet, obviously. Oh, God, this is a uh, rubbish, isn't it? Ouch, I feel your pain, Sam Vega. Some games just are not designed to be played with one button. <laughs> Your GX4000 video might have more views than machines sold. I think that's the case for every Amstrad YouTuber. Right, so we're going in here. Now, oh, well, we do have the shooting section. I didn't think we were bloody going to. Stewardship away from the computer corners cause discussing this rubbish with the off of the game. Well, next up on the Computer Chronicles, we have a uh, Alien Storm, and it's by a studio, a British studio called Tire Techs. Um, this is, I have to say, one of the Welcome worst the attempts tower. at an Amiga game I have ever seen. Um, what uh, they made for you come up with this? Well, we, we just had to do it in two weeks, didn't we? I see, you just had two weeks to complete the game. Even then, I think that your efforts are quite frankly appalling, that you've let yourself down, and uh, you've let your family down. Uh, well, that's... sorry if you're offended, mate. <laughs> Boy Lewis, thank you for gifting the sub to Frogatron. Thank you very much for that. Frogatron, please take a seat in the Fight Palace. What do you think, Gary? Uh, well, I think that, uh, yeah, I I'm agree with you. I think, um, personally, I don't think you deserve to live. Stoysville, you and the artist on Hello, Hello. Give me more <laughs> soldiers, noble awesome. leader, that they may sheathe their swords in the beating hearts of our enemies. Okay, and awesome. Guys, we have someone who worked on Hello, Hello is in the chat. Hello, Dangrico. Thank you for following. Welcome to the ranks of the damned. Which is absolutely class. How are you? How was um, how was the experience of creating the game? <laughs> A survivor. <laughs> John Benelson's John Lennon's Imagine. I can't insult the sprites now. Imagine all the people living life in peace. Imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. Okay, this is a terrible port. This is a terrible, terrible port of a very good game. <laughs> Jay, Jay's manchild wants your autograph, Stoysville. <laughs> Attack of the Green Smelly Aliens from Planet 27B2. It was very stilled, boy, though. So, I mean, that's just... That's pure ST, poor ladies, isn't it? Yeah, not quite the Mega Drive version. <laughs> Imagine when all the people are living in jail. So, how long... Out of curiosity stories, I guess what I would ask him... How long did you guys, like, have to make the Alo Alo game? Did you... Did you, like, have some... Was it done from scratch? Or did you have something, like, you were working on that then just got changed to a Alo 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 game? Because it's a very weird title. If you're interested in answering questions, I mean, not um, want to, you know, grill or anything. I, 
think we've generally been very nice about Alolo. Well, certainly James Manchild has. James Manchild has been waiting for this day all of his life. Although he's still got a few games to go yet. Our next game is Alien Strike from 1987. Diamond or Optic. <laughs> Ashen's rants about the Amiga port of Alien Storm. <laughs> Hello, I'm Time Ashens and welcome to another terrible old games you've probably never heard of. Although you have heard this, this one. Hmm. This was done by Teatex, who did other various smelly titles, including the fucking human killing machine and Street Fighter. And now they, they make paper clips for a living. A fitting punishment! Uh, just Jameson tonight, Speedboy, nothing special. You're starting to see a pattern, are you, Social Distance? Hey, Winds of Wax! Welcome. Ooh. That was a nice bit of speech there, wasn't it? Welcome to our world. Bit of Takata on Fugue. Here comes the US Navy, apparently. Yeah, it's, an, it's not a pretty sight, Dribbly Cack. You saw an ad for the Atari Mario Brothers game on YouTube. <laughs> In space! That sounds weird, Budge. Might have to have a look at that. Uh, just regular, I guess. Yeah, spare no expense. LGR unboxing the original Difference Engine. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Back with another LGR thing. <laughs> Un momento, por favor. <laughs> we're back with another... No, greetings. Greetings, and we're back with another LGR fin. We have the original Difference Engine here today. I don't really know what to say about this because it's not The Sims. <laughs> oh, we got contestants. But it certainly looks good here on my table. Has anyone's stream stopped? Oh, shit. F. Are we effing? Are we effing and blinding everyone? I've just noticed I've got a lot of dropped frames. Stream's good. Mine's good. Good for you. Nope. Some some of you are saying F, others are not. Okay, things seem fine at the moment. Right. Maybe there was just a little drop out. Maybe there was just a little drop out. If you have, if anyone who has problems, uh, refresh, please. If you're getting stuttering or anything like that, I only just noticed that we had some dropped frames, but there doesn't seem to be anything dropping now. Uh, change options? No. Jeez, you couldn't put yes or no. You had, you just put one or zero. Bloody hell! Battle sequence one. Oh hello, bloody hell! Here we go. Jesus. Okay, now what's going on here? Okay, now. Right, so I'm apparently controlling the uh, blue ship. And this guy's just completely up my ass. <laughs> You're fighting Space Vietnam. But I wasn't necessarily expecting this. Jesus, look at this. So it controls a bit like thrust, but jeez, this red ship. This red ship is not screwing around. <coughs> um. Mm. Yeah, this is like defend on crystal meth, yeah. But yeah, it is um, a bit... um crazy. It's a bit queer. God, I can't even get close to this shit. Fucking hell. He's just destroying me. <laughs> this is like your mind after a tube of sherbet and Red Bull. Fucking hell.
Try with more enemies. There certainly seems to be plenty on screen. I think I managed to destroy him there. I think. They've been doing... <coughs> They've been doing business with the alien drug lord, I... <laughs> Thank you, social distance. God, this is fucking mad! <laughs> Show the dip. No, it's just the way my trousers work up the front. <laughs> I don't seem to have any freaking range. Retro Rizzler, thank you for following. Welcome to Lorenx the Damned. Do I like the film The Last Starfighter? I've never seen that film in full. I have to say. I know of the film. I know what it's about and that, but I've never seen it in full. Thing is, I, I seem to have no friggin' range on um, my bloody ship, which sucks. Bloody hell. Give me more soldiers, noble Somber Lane 78, thank you for following. Welcome to Lorenx the Damned. Jesus wept. Fucking hell. I mean, uh, uh, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's all right. It's, it's okay. It, it was more than I expected it to be, to be honest. But uh, yeah, probably been much. How you doing, Retro Rizzler? You imagine Horace in a spacesuit trying to make his way down the screen to get to the space ski shop. <laughs> Your connection's now shit itself. <laughs> Typical. Marble streamers cheating. <gasps> Disgusting. Yeah, it was very much intense, wasn't it? That was intense. Cheesy dip. Yeah, me too. I think there's something going around. Horace is coming to switch. Oh, I've got that on PC. I've not played it yet. I saw a review of it from the uh, Consolvania lads and it looked quite good. John Cleese reporting on the US Navy's defeat from the aliens. Well, I'm John Cleese and it is my hard on Puffins. How you doing? And it is, I have what to report for some reason that uh, the US Navy have been thrashed today. They've got a bloody good thrashing from those bastard aliens. But uh, I mean, I don't see what um, interest that is of mine. I just want a bloody hotel in Torquay with a stupid Spanish rater and my deranged fishwife. But uh, I have to report that, so uh, yes, um, I'm John Cleese and I'm very curmudgeonly now. Yeah. <laughs> Right, next up we've got another port of a game that everybody knows. Alien Syndrome. I mean, I'm hoping for good things here because I love Alien Syndrome. <laughs> Don't be so foul, Eddie. <laughs> Don't be so foul. It's your favourite mostly fatal disease. Let's... Yeah, Alien Storm is an excellent game, Amiga Square. Absolutely fantastic Sega. Um... Yes, you did. You invaded Earth. It's an absolutely fantastic Sega beat em up. Same engine as Golden Axe. Um, Alien Syndrome, yes, does have a. Oh, thank you, Numbers of the Beast. Has a, has a very good port on the NES, actually. Someone just mentioned that. Very good port on the NES. Excellent. The best way to play the game at home is actually on the Game Gear. There's a fantastic Alien Syndrome game for Game Gear. More like an, a rearranged version than a super port, but I love this game. Bum, bum. But yeah, Alien Syndrome on Game Gear is fantastic. 18 plus version, Alien Skindrome. You're surprised this didn't come out on Mega Drive? Mm. Probably just a bit early for Mega Drive, innit? Manuel from Faulty Tower serving soup to the soup Nazi from Seinfeld. Did Alien Syndrome come out on Master System? Yeah, it did. Got an okay version on Master System. Probably the ma Master System one, Hyber, sir. Oh god, we've got lots of things. Yeah, uh, soup, soup, soup for you. Uh, soup for you, Mr. Okay. What is this? I did not order this. This is not soup. It is not thick enough to be soup. 
If I, if you ever come to New York and you serve me this, no soup for you. See, uh, okay. New York, uh, see, New York? Uh, what? <laughs> Astrologer Sir Patrick Moore giving out an alien syndrome challenge. Well, hello. Hello there, my, um, fine kidsy friends. Today's first challenge is on the popular Mega Drive game Alien Syndrome. Try not to be scared as you have to rescue the hostages within 30 seconds or so. Good luck. Oh yeah, I did get massive amounts of grief for that, didn't I? I accidentally, accidentally called in Sir Patrick Moore an astronomer. Bloody hell. Oh no, and that's... Just did it again, didn't I? Accidentally called in Sir Patrick Moore an astrologer. Fuck's sake. Right, let's do this, shall we? Mm -hmm. Your comrades have been captured by the aliens. Destroy the enemy and rescue them. I can do a Scotland accent. Aye. Aye, Win Da Vinci. The time bomb is set. Mm. Yeah, he had absolutely no clue at all what he was saying. <laughs> Did not know a bloody thing about computers and consoles. Will the crystal come under T or K? I imagine it will come under K. I don't think that all the... I, well, I, I'm pretty sure that all the lures are not put all together. At least I hope they aren't. <laughs> he didn't have any bloody idea where or who he was. Time Life presents the best of my games. <sighs> Do you remember the glorious days of Midas games? The wonders of Chris Kamara's Street Soccer, Mary Kins, Riding Star... Well, now you can experience them all again, courtesy of Time Life, in this brilliant 20 CD collection, the best of Midas games. Why spend hours searching eBay looking for old games and buying them for 10p when you can just get them all for free convenient monthly payments of 59.99? Order now. <laughs> I mean, this port seems okay enough. And yeah, yeah, definitely based on Ripley, very much so. It's okay enough. I mean, it's, it's yeah, meh. Meh, is, meh. meh about describes it, Grant. It's average. It's very so-so. Even in Monopoly. Yeah, the maggots look fine. <laughs> the maggots look fine. Just not sure about everything else. <laughs> yeah, maggot. Ultimate puke. <laughs> Like, there are many better ways to play Alien Syndrome, that's for sure. Hurry up. hurry up! Yes, yes, hurrying all the way. Yeah, why would you play this version exactly? Oh, there's the screen. Yeah, Ripley that played for Bat Blackman. I mean, there are worse versions. I mean, I've played the Spectrum version of Alien Syndrome. That's fucking garbage. Oh, got stuck on the door. Excellent. Well, I mean that's fair enough, isn't it? I mean, if if this is this is the version you had, Duncan, this is the this is the version you had, isn't it? I mean, that's kind of all there simply is to it for a lot of the time. It's like I used to love the Golden Axe on the Spectrum. I bloody wouldn't play it now, though, but it was the first version I played. Before, like, the Mega Drive and shit. Am I interested at all in current Football Manager? Uh, as of all, I did try playing, like, the most recent one, Speed Boy. Or, like, 2020, anyway. It is, it's a bit too complex for me. You'd learn to love it, exactly, Marcus. Um, well, I do want to try out the Touch version. Of a new football manager. That might be a bit more up my street. God, I've got 20 seconds there. Fucking hell. 20 seconds! Come on, come on in, in. Ah, bloody hell. I mean, it's football manager, basically, at the end of the day, isn't it? Go to the exit where I've run out of time, so. Ah! Shadow Fighter's awesome, Sam Ah! Uh, 
Yeah, pretty average port of alien syndrome, really. Not much to say about that. No, you haven't missed a low, low metal dirt monkey. Don't worry. You played out one on the spectrum and then 20 years later you worked with one of the guys that wrote it. <laughs> Did you grill him on it? Like, what What happened there? <laughs> Speaking of which, I think we scared the um, Aloha artist off, didn't we? I think we must have scared him or just Give pumped him with Chris. Like, oh, I've got to run your autograph and everything. <laughs> Super caffeinated. Thank you for following. Welcome to the Angsters End. I think I think I think we all we all scared scared him off. <laughs> right, another alien game coming up. Alien World. This one's nineteen ninety two from High Tech Software. So um hmm, high tech software can be pretty variable. You feel bad now that <laughs> High Tech Premier Software. There's some high tech game because can be good, Duncan. I like Scooby and Scrappy Doo. Interesting title screen. Shockingly, it seems like this this must be. Is this a high tech a game that's not um? Or is it a Hanna Barbera tie-in? Alien, Alien World. It's a pretty good platformer, Sam Vega. Peter Molyneux special. Programmed by Gary Ancliffe. Yeah, tile music seems cool. Wonder who did it? Bald female. Alien World star in Yogi Bear. No, not to be confused with high-tech expression. Paul Tanker did the music. It's pretty good music. Published under license by high-tech software. Power Developments. Can't think of anything else they did. <laughs> Hanna Barbera's Alien World. Starring Huckleberry Hound as Dog Tanyan. That's pretty bad, isn't it? It's banging. Will the game live up to the music? Probably not. Right, what are we doing? Come on. Looks okay. Mm. Oh yeah, there's um, there's so much fantastic music on on the Amiga San Vega. WJB182, thank you for following. Oh shit! Welcome to Langsland. Yeah, it's like a schmuck platformer hybrid. Graphics aren't bad. I mean, it's, it's, it's okay, actually, to be honest. It's okay. No, it's not amazing, but it's all right. I mean, especially, I mean, if this is high tech, like, I presume that this is pretty budget. I assume this wasn't a full price title if it's high tech. Because high tech didn't do full price. Oh, ow, shit. Kind of psychosis. See, mm, yeah, I can. Oh, yeah, I can definitely see that. Actually, thinking about it, I can definitely see the psychosis, early psychosis. Yeah, it's a bit like blood money. <laughs> what is low tech ZX eighty <laughs> one? This is Alien World, Gato San. They were currently playing. Music's still good. We've got in-game music as well as tile music. Not all games have that. <laughs> oh, shit. Possibly Golden Apple, quite possibly. If I could have a modern game adaptation of any TV series or film from any time prior to the year 2000, what would I pick? 
I always thought it'd be good, you know, to have a proper... Hi, Blue Lou, how you doing? Oh, I'm dead. I always thought it'd be great to have like a proper open world Robocop game. I know Robocop times have been done, but like a proper open world sandbox Robocop. Yeah, Robocop 3, but that's not... That's more like, it's, it's a map that loosely connects some levels together. That was okay for a budget tile, which I assume this was. That was okay. Great music. Great music, has to be said. Yeah, Robocop 3 is not really open world at the end of the day. It's not really. Police Quest, the Bill Edition. Red Dead Robocop, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Schiavone running into Robocop in the box. Oh yeah, we'll definitely get to Altered Beast tonight, Dungeon Seeker. I'm afraid. We will definitely get there. We're not. We're only a few games away from it. A GTA game set in Coruscant in Star Wars. Yeah. Complete with the Bill theme music. Oh, of course. Okay, next up we have the Amiga port of Alien 3. Police Quest L.A. Noir style. That'd be good. This is the last one, Golden Apple. Obviously, we're having music, not sound effects. Are there any Police Academy games out there? I don't think so, Marcus. Not on any of the platforms that I know a lot about. Sadly, no alien xylophone. Mayhem! They call it Mayhem, but it's clearly not Mayhem. It's Rescue. Only version of Alien 3 you ever got on with was the SNES one. SNES game's pretty good, actually. That's got some awesome music, too. Different, very different music to the all stuff in this game. Like, the Alien 3 on SNES is excellent. But I do prefer this. On the Mega Drive. Not this version. I tell you what is surprisingly good. What is surprisingly good, better than this, is the C64 version of this game. The C64 version of this game is, for 8-bit, fantastic. Like, play Alien 3 on C64, you'll be very surprised. Yeah, Master System has music and sound effects at the same time. Unfortunately, this does not. Yeah, got, uh, yeah Alien 3 got a C64 port very, very late. Like, you're talking, like, 90, I think, 93, it came out on there. Bollocks, fuck that up. Right, well, back in we go. Oh, yeah, you're right, Amiga Square. I kind of remember that I was one after I said that. These missions are just generically called Mission. So it does, it does retain the fucking awesome music, this port, so you've got to be happy about that. You'll love to hear it. Just got to make your own sound effects. Funny enough, Badre, me too. This was my introduction as well. Um, have I fucked this up? Uh, why can't I not just get back up there? Have I completely screwed this stage?
Well, no, I haven't. I'm just an idiot. I'm just an idiot. I mean, jeez, I shouldn't have had to play this fucking game by now. I shouldn't have had to play this first level by now. I've played it so many fucking times. Seriously, you don't know how many times I've played this level. Fuck off. Yes, up and round. Up and round. Oh, don't backwards jump on me. Friggin' up to jump. Oh, shit. Fucking bollocks. You're used to the SNES one. I mean, that's fair. I mean, I'm, I, I, like the, I like the SNES one, but I am used to the Amiga one. Or the, the Mega Drive one. Yeah, it was like Alien Cubed, yeah. Hello, Killer Bob. <laughs> Alien Free back in training. Yeah, you do get knocked back viciously in this game, Bobby. Now, <laughs> me and Game Boy Shocker. Jeez, who knew? I never knew why, knew why, knew why. Sister's just as third fall. But I see what you mean. The leveling chat. You did change to mission, didn't it? That's weird. That's very weird. A father Ted be. Oh, not me, Sid. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Alien free. Newt's dead. <laughs> right, let's just get our fucking ass. What type of screen do I use for my Amiga Retro, Ralph? Um, well, if I'm playing on the real thin, I've got um, a Frame Meister. So I'll use that. And then I can play it nicely through my regular television. An awful... Yes, yeah, Sister Justice, an awful movie on Channel 5. Very true. Ow. Newt had to go now. Her planet needs me. I have to go now. <laughs> Is the Frame Meister worth the money? Um, mm, uh, it was when I got it, and I, I got very lucky. I mean, I did. I I can't. I didn't pay for mine. I got very very lucky. I got a, a ridiculously generous gift. That was a few years ago now. I mean, there are cheap alternatives. Like, there's the OSSC. That might be more up up the alley for uh, something like Amiga. I mean, it depends on what you want to use it for. Like, the Frame Meister does have big faults. Like, if you want to play PS1 or something like that on Frame Meister, it's, it can be a bit shit. Yeah, shot the alien up the bum. Gotta love it. Shit, I'm nearly dead again. Huh? I've got three left still. I've got three left. Huh? Did I miss? Oh, I fucking. Oh, God, I'm a twat. I'm a twat. Oh, well, let's just use this. You missed that one, you doofus. I mean, I love it personally, Grand H. I love the atmosphere of this game. Like, this, I don't, this Amiga version kind of lacks something because it's only, well, you can, you can only choose between music and sound effects. To me, the sound effects really do make this game a lot. So it misses them. It misses the sound effects badly, this version. And if, oh, if you played it with just the sound effects, it would miss those badly too. <laughs> Oh, you cunt. Uh, never mind, that's enough of that. Yeah, you need the S. Yeah, the SFX is so makes it so much better. So, yeah, I mean, it's an okay port, but there's better ways to play this game. The Amiga version, the Mega Drive version, is brilliant. Pretty much goldfish, it's exactly the same. 
AVP on PC for that myself. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> AVP on PC, what an awesome game. <laughs> you had low expectations, that's that's pretty fair. <laughs> so we're done with the games named Aliens. You'll be glad to know we're literally five games away from Allo Allo. Five games away, folks. Our next game, actually, well, this game is kind of alien. Ailey X, this is called. Ailey X. Software Creations, apparently, so here's hoping for a soundtrack by a fallen. True indeed, Budgery. Ailey X. Never much liked Alien 3, has to be said. The film. Alien Isolation is pretty good. I ought to have played out a hell of a lot more than I did. The contrary, <laughs> Grassomaniac, thank you for the hundred bison dollars. Five games away, Allo, aboard the hype train, everybody. <laughs> Sadly not Tim Follin music or Jeff Follin. Yes, that's a weird one, isn't it, Numbers of the Beast? The MSX version, I've heard about that one. That's quite strange. Hello, Stephanie. This expects me to have a like, and oh, it looks like it does, doesn't it? It's saying all things like press trigger to calibrate gun and shit. Uh, we... Am I able to play it with a mouse? Yeah, this is a light gun game. Uh, bollocks. Bollocks, indeed. We can't play this. Balls. Oh well. A newer lower low game in the vein of the Sniper Elite games. <laughs> Okay, unfortunately that's, um, yeah, unfortunate that one. So I can't say anything about that. Mm. Yeah, okay, could have another look, Duncan, but we shall see. <laughs> that much closer to a low low. I thought I'd be able to use the mouse, Gordino. But apparently not. Use an actual gun. <laughs> SMS light gun to Amiga. Um, change that to mouse, see what happens. Nothing. What do I call an alias with no eyes? This isn't a retro arch I'm using though, Kampolski, not for Amiga games. No, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this, like, at uh, this joystick mode. Mouse mode? Oh, hello. Well, we're doing something. But I don't know where I'm targeting. And it's just going absolutely haywire. <laughs> yeah, very flashy indeed. Game over. <laughs> Never mind. Well, let me just make sure I change this back. <laughs> You're dribbling. <laughs> yeah, we can't play that. So, well, next game, this could be weird. All Dogs Go to Heaven is next. Something based on the animated film, I presume. <laughs> but I mean, that is just like, oh no! Mark Square, oh no! Oh dear! There's more bad games here besides a lower low, folks. <laughs> yes, apparently it did, Budgery. Third Fool's just like, yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Just can't wait to see something horrid. No, you haven't missed a low, low stew face. Don't worry. You have not missed it. <laughs> yes. In fact, you're not that far away from it. We have four games. Well, three games and then a low, low. In fact, to be precise. 
Right, All Dogs Go to Heaven. 1990, Merit did this. I don't think I've, I don't think I've seen the movie, as to be said. Never seen the movie. What kind of prime on the Nazi guy from a low low? You piece of trash. <laughs> they call you hair flick, don't you, don't they? Well, why don't I flick those glasses out of your face? <laughs> you piece of monkey crap. It doesn't matter what your name is. Hello, Stog, Stog, Stog. Hey, we got a crack show, everybody. Haven't seen one of those in this stream, have we, so far? And it's a proper crack show and everything. Look, it's got the bloody sine wave and that everything, didn't we? <laughs> It's a very typical crack show, isn't it, third fall? Very typical crack show. <laughs> we kind of did judge this. But no music, which is unfortunate. <laughs> Sometimes they are, Duncan. Yeah, some poor bastard rushed to crack this. Gotta get this out, gotta get this out first. Gotta beat everyone else on the scene. <laughs> gotta get me, gotta beat everyone else. Gotta get this out of the bullet bin boards. Come on, damn it. There's another Amiga first. We can get to this first, but no one else is cracking it. Just fucking do it! Polarware. Published by Merit Software. All dogs go to heaven. Aww. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Goldfish. Oh, hello. Oh, that's quiet. Don Bluth of Dragon's Lair, yes. The very same. Nice dancing, eh? So did they just take that loop of you can't keep a good dog down, like 15 seconds or so? They did, didn't they? <laughs> that's all they did. Yeah, that's. I'm, I'm fine with it being quiet, Bobby now. I'm very fine. No, you can't keep a good dog down. Yes, quite. Come on, come on. Let's play already, shall we? Yeah, Paranoia are probably the only ones willing to crack something so crap. The Roger Rabbit game. I remember the NES one. I don't think I've ever played the computer one, though. Oh, God. Yes, I'm using the joystick. What type of player would I like? A novice. Would I like to play all the games? Not really, but I'll just say yes. What controller do I use? I use a, an Afterglow Xbox One controller. Shut up! General Melcher and Major Bennett express their mutual love for hello, hello. Ah, hey, hello, Major. Hey, good to see you, Melchard. Yes, my phone always goes. My phone always goes mad at half nine, doesn't it? I just wanted to tell you how much I love this lower low program that you sent me the DVD for. It is a superlative program indeed, General. It is cray I thought it would be up your street. It's all about the war and that. Hmm, well, as, as you know, I know a lot about war, Major. No, oh, absolutely. Well done, General. Beep! Beep! I shall have to come to your shops and sample some of those new chipsticks. <laughs> Made with genuine Sanwa arcade parts. <laughs> right, what are we doing? Charlie was framed for a crime he didn't commit. He wants to escape and find the dog who him up and kill him! Right, what are we actually doing? You're just fucking repeating the same thing. <laughs> it's in the theme to a low low in the club style. What is even going on here? Yeah, 
right, I've seen I've seen this panel enough. Can I can I play a game? Can I play the game? I'm having a stroke again, yeah. Right. What what am I doing? You watch Scum again recently. Oh, Scum's a harrowing film. Scum is harrowing. Is it not? <laughs> the longer we stare at this, the longer it is until that low and low. You're so desperate. So needy for the yellow and low. Right, what's this now? Get on with it. But yeah, Scum is um Scum is a great film, but yeah, it's hard watching. Oh, what are we doing? I'm I'm apparently chasing yeah, the anticipation is well. Retro Powers, shout out to Retro Power. Lovely, lovely, lovely people. Long time supporters of the channel as well. Like Dan Danny and Alex go back to like the early days of the Kim Justice channel. So yeah, lovely, lovely people. Give me more what is even going on here? Mr. Bass79, thank you for following. Days. Welcome to Ranks of the Damned. Which one am I? I'm the one behind going up the guy's ass. Um what what is even going on here? Uh about three more games, Win Da Vinci. Well I was what is this? What is this? Have I seen the girl version of Scum Star and Kathy Burke and Patch Butcher? I haven't what was it called again? The um I know I the um I know that the girl version is very bad, like it's more it's basically softcore porn, isn't it? What was it called again? What is this shit? Scrubbers, that's it. Thank you, Stu Face. <laughs> Man, this was just like Fred's. Holy crap. Yeah, Fred's is awesome. <laughs> what a cheerful film. Bad Butcher doesn't even get a tit cell. <laughs> More rats than an Opti stream. <sighs> I, I, yeah, we do need a guru meditation right about now. Fucking hell. It's just the same sample repeating like 10 seconds of like someone going. <laughs> Listen to that. Fucking hell, get this off. Get this off! Dear God, shit in hell. Unbelievable, I ask you. I ask you. You're just into Pat Butcher. Animal so oh God, Phoenix. Ugh, yeah, that could have that that easily been a Phoenix style, couldn't it? Don't mind you a little bit of Pam St. Clement. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Two more games until hello, hello, everyone. Yeah, Fred's is a film I've I've seen. Um, I have seen Fred's or most of it, and I wouldn't want to watch it again. Wouldn't want to watch it again. Right next up, we have a quite famous game actually. All New World of Lemons. Not a very good game. This is the Lemons game that. Um. DMA design didn't really give a shit about, to be honest, but um, for various reasons. But that's what we're playing next. <laughs> Arc Twister Lux is just like, oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Drugs. Uh, there's a whole kind of interesting story about this one, actually. Um, basically, a lot of the, the way, the reason why this was very different was because uh, there was a plan, a rumour, that um, the guys who made Sesame Street, um, I forget their name, the, the production studio behind Sesame Street were very interested in the Lemmings for a period. And they wanted a lot of changes made, like make the Lemmings bigger, make them, there's only like a couple of them. There was all sorts of shit like that going around. Um, 
And for DMA, they kind of they lost their heart in it. No, not Jim Henson. No, um, Children's TV Workshop. That's it. And yeah, they ditched it like hot turd. And their heart, like they said, that their heart just really wasn't in it, like as they were doing it. In all honesty. So yeah, this is a um, pretty mediocre Lemons game. Essentially, Dawn Poffins, yeah. Make it less like Lemons. <laughs> What's the idea of that? Um. <laughs> Do we not have a floater? <laughs> One of your favourite YouTubers watched the videos of one of your favourite streamers. Oh, and numbers of the beast. Do I like 3D Lemmings? No. Oh, he's fine. Fair enough. Really, Robinator? Controversial opinion, but no, eh, fair enough. <laughs> Why can't you just do some building? Yeah, you have infinite skills in this version. <laughs> that is pretty monsters I social distance. See Bobby Nator, I quite like Lemons too. Yeah, you have infinite basic skills and um a lot of the more special skills you actually have to pick up on the level if memory serves me right. He dragged the family halfway across Europe just to look at some concrete. Oh, lemons accounted for. Yay. Yeah, lemons too. Personally, I like I like like having all the loads of different stuff in that bobinator, I have to say. So it's like here you have to pick up a um dig. A digger. That's fair enough, Bobinato, isn't it? Huh? No, I wanted you to pick that up. Oh, I'm an idiot. Come on. Uh, what's happened to my bloody... Fuck's sake, this bloody arsehole walking in front of my... Sod off. Let me click on my lemon. Let me click on my bloody lemon that's got the shovel. I know, Leo. Yeah, that'll definitely happen. Right, you stop. Which one of you bastards has the... Right, you do. Right. Right, pick that. Right. You start moving again. There we go. Fucking hell. Ah! Yeah, exactly, Steve. 
Oh god, will you get out the friggin' way of the fucking guy with the fucking blocks? Motherfucker! Asshole! Now this cunt's in the way! Look at this fucking prick! Oh! Yeah, this, uh, this just to me, this just is not, it's just me and Seven on the way. Right click highlight slim and tall. Would that even have helped though, because I was bloody, no, there was just, there was just a bunch of new lemons on the screen because it couldn't do them all at once. I can do better, I don't want to do better, that's enough of that. I don't want to do better. <laughs> Not very good. Yeah, me going all Samuel L. Jackson while playing Lemons for me. You thought they were reincarnated something? No, no, oddly enough, no. Kim Justice having to review Peppa Pig games for an entire stream, just three hours and just, I can't do this anymore. I can't just, just, just let me end it now. Just like the bottle of whiskey started off full and instead of having the, a, like a couple of glasses, I drank the whole lot of it. Just like, oh, I do it anymore. One more game to go until our lower low. Well, this game should be alright. It's Alan Borders Cricket. Would Peppa Pig's junk mail be called spam? <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Oh, bloody no, what's going on here? Oh, fucking hell. Sorry, folks, I know people are saying stuff to me, but I've just accidentally clicked some annoying function. Um, hold on. Right, set font size, because I can barely fucking see it. <laughs> Alan Borwin's cricket. Ah, oh, thank you, Dawn. That's much appreciated. Oh, wh why have I got weekly top gifters on here? I don't, I don't, I don't need weekly top gifters. I've now got less chats, bro. <laughs> there we go. Will we get to a pity this week? Nah. No, not this week, I'm afraid. Alan Partridge is cricket. <laughs> Hello, Viking Mank plays. How you doing, mate? <laughs> this feels like the last 10 minutes before midnight on New Year's Eve. <laughs> oh, the men! They didn't save all the lemons! Oh, how, how, how! You excrement! You bloody scoundrels! You did not save my favourite lemon! <laughs> yes, a lot of that he goes to get through. Uh, Alan Partridge's cricket. I haven't forgotten that one. We'll do that when we get back to the game. <laughs> Left language pigeon murderer! <laughs> Are you coming up? Why is the bloody game not coming up? Oh, there it is. Hey, another crack try. A paradox crack try this time. The batsman's holding the bowler's willy. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Yes, decent crack trade. You've got to love a bit of paradox. Oh. God tier unreadable scroll text, absolutely. Did that say World Trade Center? I don't know. I didn't, actually, I didn't even read it. <laughs> I was too busy trying to get the fucking thing to come up on the screen.
I don't think I did see that one, Duncan and Stu face. <laughs> no doubt it will come up. And they'll have to be like, oh my lord. Alan Borders Cricket. <laughs> Taffio Jones from Bum. Cannonball Taffio Jones. That's right, you pair of English rankers. <laughs> Hmm. I don't think, yeah, I don't think I've seen that one, Duncan. <laughs> oh, look, it's Ted Georges in a dress. Is that Bobby Root? <laughs> Glorious. So I think this is like the original The Sunglasses Fair. That's one of my most speakers up for. Can only select three teams. <laughs> um, just best eleven. Just pick the best ones. Have I been watching AEW? Uh, not bits and pieces. Yes, it was salted up. Alan Borders butter drinking challenge. Take tails. Yeah, why is there only three teams? Like Brian Lara Cricket had more than that. Hey, it's a tail. Right, we're gonna bat. Because I like batting. No, Vince didn't get Nakamura. Mind you, Nakamura. One trouble with Nakamura, and it did happen a lot like when he was in WWF, or WWE rather, I should say. When it's not like the main event match, he can get a bit lazy. Like he did that back in the, um, and I don't want to change the band order. Like he did that a lot in the New Japan days when it wasn't like a major match or anything. He could be very lazy, and that's kind of happened more and more in WWF. But yeah, it didn't help that Vince just didn't get him. Like, come on, I want to play. Right, you join us live here at the lovely Cricket Down, the Lord's Cricket Ground. I don't know why they call it the Lord's Cricket Ground. I don't don't really see any lords in attendance, lords and ladies. Um, I don't see any of those. But um, we've got some cricket. And um, yes, and the batsman's just... The bowlers carefully um, bring the ball in. Now he's running. He's found it. He's found it. And he's hit it. <laughs> oh, he's hit it to the to that line. He's hit it to that line there. Oh, well, I'm sure he'll get a good point for that. <laughs> Out. LBW. What? LBW. It literally missed the stumps. You what? That was never out. Like, come on, just let me... No, no. He's the new batsman. No. You fucking what, mate? Oh, I let back and run. John Bottle complained then. That was clearly not out. It was what it was, not where the boulder. <laughs> it was not in line with the stumps. <laughs> it was clearly going over the stumps. This umpire will find himself in jail. Your wife is one, Sam. <laughs> hey, another four. <laughs> I was never, never out. Never out. <laughs> the genteel ripple of applause. Quickly. I'll go faster. Bloody. What? Oh, God. 
Don't, don't just walk between the... No. Oh, fucking Mike Gatting. Yeah, that's a sad thing, Bartree. But yeah, they, they definitely, um, they smoothed things out a bit with this when it became Brian Lara Cricket on the Mega Drive, which is a game that I love. Oh, go back, turn back. Looked like the fieldsmen punched each other then. Yeah, it's quite a small boundary, isn't it? <laughs> I don't think Lords is the biggest ground, but even so. <laughs> yes, a common town crap sport invents totally. <laughs> no rubbing your balls, please. End of the first over there. Mm. Jolly good. Right. Let's play some more. <laughs> Who doesn't want to hit people with cricket bats? <laughs> Celebrity Skittles needs a commentator. <laughs> And Derek Bristow takes the hockey right now. Oh, oh, shit. That was my fault. Oh, here comes Gucci. Here comes Graham Gooch. Ah, Graham Gooch. All out for 36. That was quick. You must be pleased. <laughs> Jerry the Kindle left commentating quick and trying to find some money in your endos. <laughs> Jeez. Well, I just got fucked there, didn't I? <laughs> Hello, Stuart. <laughs> He's throwing his balls around here, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> well left. Well bred. Well played. Well, well. <laughs> you pay actual money to see Kim criticise children in a school sports day. <laughs> That's tennis, Kim. <laughs> Well, he's, he's holding his back pretty well. What does that even mean, Kin? <laughs> and it's a lovely day here at the hallowed WrestleMania event. We have a lovely, marvellous match going along here. Bret Hart, Steve Austin. Oh, well, stone me. He's just, he's just belted him over the head with a... With a oh, bloody hell, nearly lag dragged that on. Oh, shit, stop. I asked you to stop running. Fucking lag. <laughs> it's still. Yeah. Oh. I clicked eight for him to stop fucking running. What's the score? It's not good. Well, we've got we've got Graham Hick coming in now. He's just belted him in the face with the bat, and um, it looks like he's he's putting him in his hole. The sharpshooter and. Um, he is rendering, he is attempting to render Austin's submission. It fair reminds me of a similar time in a Ashes match in 1946. Um, Jeffrey Boycott did the same to Don Bradman. As you know, I mean, Fred Truman did the same to Donald Bradman in a match. <laughs> Fred Truman in full indoor league mode commentary. Uh, we're only 18 for 5, everybody. Me, well, indoor league, and we in special indoor league broadcast to WrestleMania. Um, yeah, and we got the WrestleMania coming in here. It's a big old arena this year. You'd love to play a, a bit of tic tac toe in this arena, wouldn't you? <laughs> bit tic tac toe. Fucking hell. Edged and gone. <laughs> Uh, but we've got uh, the uh, tri the man coming down now. What's his name? It's a uh, Triple H. Fucking hell. <coughs> Triple H is coming here now, and he's got a big silly costume on. Holy hell! He doesn't half take his time. I'd have down three pints by the time he gets to win. <laughs> Triple H. Douglas Jardine, ah, yes, the, um, the body line tests, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that, that was LBW. <laughs> that was the plum LBW. I'm, yeah, I was out. 
<laughs> Sunil Gavaskar was... Oh, yeah, he is massively popular, isn't he? A quicker tier super sleuth fighting crime and... Dra That's fucking amazing, by the way. Oh, my God, I dragged onto the stumps again. <laughs> JBL hype in the alone. And got the Rick Friday to first night of Migrators at Muggle. We've got some Aloha Low action coming for you now. Fine, just don't do anything. Toughers is coming in now. Actually, no, I think that's, that's just it, isn't it? Probably. <laughs> Right, okay, that's that's enough of that. Uh, it, it, better game when it became Brian Lara Cricket. Uh, well, folks. Folks. The moment is at hand. It is 21.57 on a Thursday night, 1st of October. <laughs> Jay's Manchild, thank you for the 200 bison dollars. Hello, hello. Why, 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 why? <laughs> My eyes are sweating with excitable glee. Exactly. Watch this very carefully. We shall play this only once, British policeman, for entire review. <laughs> Good morning. You will see it only once. Let us, um, let us savour. Hello, hello. Do people actually like this game? Bobby Nater? No, they don't. <laughs> the contrary. Thank you, what host snorkers, for the 25 hello bits. The 25 bison dollars. British that takes Damn speech. Long. That takes speech. Last minute. Okay. Here we go. Good morning. Is it the only hello, hello game? Thankfully, yes, it is the only hello, hello game. 1993 Alternative Software. <laughs> yeah, Duncan Woodward is very correct. Welcome to the fight power. Golden Apple, thank you for gifting a sub to Bumble 072 there. Bumble 072, please take your place in the fight palace. Was Hello Hello even on air in 1993? Um, I think he was only just off air, Chinese tea bag. It lasted for longer than you think. Or it might even even... It came out fully a year after the show finally went off air. So, yeah, not that far away, to be fair to it. I will gift this only once. <laughs> ah, The Undertaker. The Madonna with the big boobies. Not exactly good music as well, is it? No, couldn't even use the regular song. <laughs> yeah, license in the theme tune would have cost more. <laughs> God, look at those multicolored font. Winning at toi, Madame Edith. <laughs> Monsieur Alphonse the Undertaker. <laughs> Herr Flick. Elga. Kandel von Thorn. Jellul von Klinkerhofen. Right. Yeah, sounds like a Russian Eurovision entry. <laughs> That's the Bass Street kids' names in the house, because I, yeah. <laughs> An accurate representation of the TV showing that they're both crap. <laughs> Find all the fake paintings of the fallen Madonna. And you will see this on the vans. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Badger. Yes, it is just a substandard Euro platformer. That's exactly what this is, James Manchild. What, you, you didn't know? <laughs> I 
Gotta love that perfectly straight bar back. I mean, look at that. That's like, that's a flawless fucking split legged, straight legged bar back. <laughs> you wonder if Alolo was ever dubbed into French. You know what? I actually don't know. <laughs> Your partner won't let me keep. <laughs> Hello. Oh. What are you on? Welcome to the fight power. <laughs> Goldfish on games. Thank you for following. I mean, thank you for subscribing, even. Welcome to Lorac Fight Palace. So, Lee, so these fellows, these Nazis here, have got their hand, hands over their ears because of the sinning. Ow. <laughs> um, Marcus, it's... It doesn't look terrible, I suppose, but it's... Ugh, it's one of those games that just controls very, very averagely... You know, you don't really know what the fuck you're doing. It's a very typical Euro platform. Hey, look at that! Look at that Acton poster there. Look at the Acton poster. Yeah, you can tell the game's good because there's zero jump animation. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, TRS. <laughs> mm. Those were actual full boobs. Hello, Nick and Fante. What are you doing with that servant woman in your arms? Is Hitler the end of game boss? No. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, Rene is incredibly. How bloody hell. Fucking Helga. So I've got it. So I pan out. So I have to find some bloody pictures of a Madonna or something, don't I? There's Yvette. Yvette, with the big boobies. Yeah. When? Yeah. Since when was the cafe just literally crawling with Nazis who are actively trying to kill Rene? Like, the whole point is they don't bloody know he's part of the resistance. Or that, you know, he's involved with them. It's the whole big thin point. And instead, like, this is like, you know, the Nazis have obviously just clearly found out about Rene's practices. Yeah, it's it's a strange cafe. It's like it's like some place in bloody South End, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, this is the last episode of Hello Hello. <laughs> Mimi was your Hello Hello crush. You stupid woman! <laughs> oh, strange death as well. Though. Yeah, it's because I want to forever forever forever. <laughs> None of the episodes. Welcome to the fight, <laughs> Ron, thank you for f subscribing. Thank you for the three months. Welcome back to the Fight Palace. Yes, this is when they're having a nightmare. Hmm, and look at this sight. Look at this doggo. <laughs> yeah, this is a French river spoons. <laughs> oh, that, that. Lovely, isn't it? Very appropriate sight, that, isn't it? Can you pet the dog? No, but you can. You can do this. You can get your head. You can. You can get right up close to it. <laughs> Why Winnie is hiding in the cupboard in my own cafe? Yeah, that dog's um seriously at it, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you can lick his piss up. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you want to do that? We're going down in the sewers. Hello, hello is slow motion. I mean, hello, hello is. How come? How come the Twitch filter censored French classic? What's it got against French people?
Uh, I mean, Aloe Aloe is okay. It's... Yeah, it's, it's... It's not brilliant, let's face it. Yeah, there's even a sewer level in deep, last minute. What are you guys doing down in the sewer? Oh, bloody hell. Croft and Perry definitely made better shows than no lower low though. Like Dad's Army, for example, which none of you like. <laughs> Would it be better if it was modern and where they got naked at some points? Well, if it was what a lower low mixed with blue is the warmest colour or something like that. <laughs> a lower low, as directed by Jean-Luc Godard. <laughs> Where's the Hancock's half hour Amiga game? I tell you what's a missed opportunity. I don't think there isn't any bloody um there's no Dad's Army game. I mean, I don't think there is any Dad's Army game, is there? Which is surely a massive missed opportunity. <laughs> For good reason. Third floor, watch it. Was there a Faulty Towers game? Um there was a Spectrum text adventure type thing, but it wasn't like a legit product. Like cannon fodder. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Call of Duty Dad's Army. Hell yeah, I'd play that in a heartbeat. That gave me back into Call of Duty. So yeah, this is just well, this is one of those very classic European platformer games where you just do not have a fucking clue what you do. <laughs> Don't tell them your name, soap! How's about this? A Call of Duty, as as normal, but done in the Dad's Army style, but with all the same bloody characters. Like, you know, you got Billy Murray and all that shit. Yeah, no equaliser game, sadly. <laughs> Don't panic, Mr. Man wearing. Okay, take care, son of a bitch. <laughs> Mission failed, you stupid boy. I've gone to hide in my cupboard. Oh, dear. Yeah, indeed, that is a point. Like, why? Why, Amiga Square? Like, why did they do that? I think I'm about done playing this, Duncan. Well, folks, that was a low and low. Was, was, um, was it everything that you hoped it would be, is what I want to say. Was that worth the wait? <laughs> yeah, it's a shame actually, Jez mentioned. Full game walkthrough. Absolutely not, Sam. Oh, Alien Fish Finger's definitely in the game. Oh, good night, Paradox. Well, we're still not finished it. We're only halfway through. Guru Larry talks. Hmm, jeez, I can, I can just picture myself writing that screen. Did you know that the French game, that the French Resistance World War II comedy, a lower low, with all its pratfalls and Madonnas with the big boobies, had its own game on the Amiga? Did you know that? It's even better than being lapped out by Peter Molyneux. Actually, no, it's not. It's even worse. <laughs> you left that demo very satisfied. <laughs> yeah, no contest, Alien Fish Finger So Hot has been by far the best thing we've played. By far. Will anything else even come close to it? That is the question. <clears throat> oh, well, we have reached the Aloha, we have finished with the Aloha Aloha milestone. <laughs> and now we, 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 ca we carry on. <clears throat> oh, Jay's Manchild's now waiting for Suburban Commando. American Gladiators, well, oh God, don't remind me. Goodness me. Right, next game. Alpha Waves. 1991 Infograms. <laughs> the Alolo characters horrified at the game being horrible. <laughs> oh, Chaos Virus there. Ooh, this looks technical. <laughs> what is this? That looks nothing like me. Why is there a dog urinating? Oh, so the laws! Oh, how are you going to faint? Hey, Quattro! <laughs> now you listen here, really. What you gotta do is you gotta drink a few cold beers, drink a few cold Steve Weisers, and you gotta take out those Nazis, you hear? You gotta put a bit of stank on that stunner. 
That's what you gotta do. And that's the bottom line. Yes, that is a plan at some point, Gatasan. I will I will do it eventually. Yeah, this is definitely a proper proper good old cracture, isn't it? Cortex. Sine wave text is almost readable, not a real cracture. <laughs> Arthur Lowe and James Beck did a TV pilot called Bung Clark with a Knee that was based on an old Hancock's Half Hour script. Ah. Beck died shortly after the pilot never went out and Lowe refused to do a full series without him. I didn't know that. Bloody hell. Top this is full and Madonna with the big boobies. Were demo scene parties actually parties or just people copying games? Oh no, there was some. There was some proper raving back in the day when the demo scene. There was some raving going on, third fall. Raves! Natural Amont. Like, there are videos and that going around where you can see, like, the parties for yourself. Like, you can find some on YouTube and that. Yeah, like in the chat back advert, exactly. <laughs> Trouble with having Jameson, it's so much easier to drink than the stuff I normally have. Like, I can feel I've drank more than more of this than I usually would. Come on, Cole, chat back. Hey, eight, nine, one. 50, 50, 50. Right, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah, the bald guy off his tits. Throwing the shapes. <laughs> Pressing those buttons. Oh, okay, cool, we're back here. Right. Oh yeah, you would definitely see a lower low in the Games Yanks comeback episode. Yeah, sad way to go down, isn't it, Frazzleface? Oh, what, Win Da Vinci like, um, <laughs> God's Gift. God's Gift hosted by... Was it, it was Davina McCall first and then Claudia Winkleman, weren't it? I normally drink stuff that's a bit more, um, harsher, I suppose, Golden Apple. Like, Jameson's fine, it's just... I don't know. It's just Jameson. What am I doing? Has it just gone to the game or what? Is this the game? Are we playing it? Looks like it. Well, it doesn't look like we're using the... Um... Right, game. Here we go. Action mode or emotion mode? Action mode. Yeah, phoning game shows, that was a fin. Okay, what are we doing here? Okay, 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 right, okay. So it's like a 3D platformer fin. What if we try and go all the way over here? And we can kind of use the button to go forward. Oh, good night, social distance. Ah, we missed. We missed. You missed, pal. Where? <laughs> Sailing in for a bit of Euro trash. The good old days. Oh, here we go. So we can bounce. Ah, so we can kind of bounce off these, can't we? <laughs> yeah, da, yeah, da, yeah, da, so zen. It's like jumping, f I presume you mean jumping flash, James Manchild. <laughs> Done on an 80s calculator. <laughs> Boom. Right, so we want to get up on there. Yeah, it's 3D, glorious 3D. Maybe get to see a tit or two, Flaggy. I want to see a titty! Is there any more than eight colours here? I don't think so, Duncan.
This is um, actually quite an interesting idea. It's, it's actually not too bad to play, you know. Like, just from these early impressions. So let's try and get through that thing. Hey, we got into the door. Kick in the door. Get a minute of extra time. So basically, you just got to get to the friggin' exit of a stage. It appears. Yeah, it's a bit rough around the edges, but then this was made in, like, 1991. Orson Welles died, um, like, what, a, cut a few hours after giving a TV interview, didn't he? Like, on a chat show. I can't even remember whose. But he died, like, literally a few hours after, didn't he? And he, and if you look at, if you have a look at the footage of the interview, he does not look well. He really looks not well at all. Chinese tea bag. There was that thing. Was didn't he do that thing? Um, twenty four hour quiz. Barry from EastEnders. Sean Williamson. Is that something that he did? I'm sure it was. So I guess we've got to get through that. I don't think I have. I've never watched The Mint with um, Brian Dowling. Oh, shit. Ouch. That hurt. Can we get through it? Yeah, Tommy Cooper dying on stage is horrible. I have seen it. Ow. One away! He yeah, has Z-Wolf in a couple of years' time. Yeah, only a couple of years till we do Z-Wolf, folks. Yeah, it's, yeah, everyone thinks that it's a joke, don't they? Everyone claps, and then he doesn't do anything, and then they, you know, they come along to take him off stage, and I guess that's the point where people realise that, shit, something, something horrible's happened. Your friend's grand was at the show, so much to bloody hell. That can't have been nice. But yeah, very sad moment. Yeah, Lacurns, like, they closed Lacurns around him. Eric Morecambe died backstage as well, didn't he? Like, Eric Morecambe didn't die on stage, but he died, like, in the winds. He had a massive heart attack. Barry Cryer is like he would have wanted it. Hmm. Maybe he's right. Well, he probably wouldn't have wanted to die, obviously, but if you're an entertainer and, you know, eh, I don't know. Who can say? It's projection, isn't it? Yes. Yes, slow motion time, everyone. That's right. Hmm, <laughs> interesting. Zagrabista, uh, good night to you. <laughs> Jimmy Tarbuck, another one funny trap. Oh ho! Yeah, serious conversation sometimes, Duncan. Oh yeah, Tiny Tim, yeah. Jeez, that's not a nice one. Take care, Alex Geordie. Did I ever own a PS Vita? No, Fife Bilby. Uh, I tell you what, interesting idea. I'm, I'm going to say that game wasn't half bad. Moved a bit slow, obviously not good graphically, but... Not bad. Eric Morecambe apparently did five encores at his last show and spent a lot of time talking about his life and his mother instead of doing his usual act. Jeez, he must have he must have knew something was happening, wasn't must he? The revenge mode in WrestleMania nineteen. How it fits with Stone towards the character player. What handhelds have I had? Uh, not too many five. Um I've had a Game Boy, a Game Gear, and a DS. Handhelds aren't Hugely my thing. You're amazed Ken Dodd hasn't died on stage, but you reckon some of his audience did. <laughs> well, he is dead now, Berberman. Just not on stage. Matthew Kelly is a genuinely very good actor. I mean, well, 
the thing, well, the thing with Matthew Kelly was third of all, after because um, in like the early two thousands, he had like these allegations of um, of being a peter, of being a peter, um, and the allegations actually um stopped him. Um, he got fired from Stars in Your Eyes and that that he was still doing. After the allegations went, well, he got cleared. Yeah, the Frank Skinner interview is unnerving because in Matthew's like, oh, you, yeah, you can tell Matthew just fucking hates him. And then after he got he got exonerated, he um he went back to serious acting and actually he does really well for himself doing it. Like um after like kind of obviously no there were no allegations for him but um Les Dennis after Family Fortunes ended did similar. Like Les Dennis is a serious actor. Yes, the, the newspapers were terrible with the Matthew Kelly case. Like, he was literally, he was guilty till proven innocent in the tabloids. Yeah, no, seriously, third of all, Les Dennis had done, especially nowadays, quite a few quite serious roles. Like, on stage, mainly. But yeah, Matthew Kelly is like a Shakespearean fucking actor and shit. Okay, our next game... We've got Altered Beast after this one. Our next game is called Alpha One. Looks like a bog standard shoot 'em up. <laughs> ITV Light Entertainment versus Shakespeare. SB Soft. Yeah, that's what happened, wasn't it, Steve Face? So yeah, he was totally he was he was completely not guilty. Like nothing's like stuck to him. Whoever like Wasn't it was it the same was it the same thing that got people like Pete Townsend and um Chris Lanham and the dude well I mean the dude I think the dude from I can't remember the dude for Mass Attack, but he had he, he just went on, like, porn sites. He hadn't gone on any of the bad things. So he was perfectly fully cleared, too. Was it the same thing? Hey, Blood Money music. Yeah, he was accused of being a peder, but um, he was... Are you late, Honky Maximum? If you mean you're late for a lower low, unfortunately, you've just missed it. Yeah, that wasn't the best crack try, was it, Duncan Woodward? Yeah, they did kind of let Pete Townsend off. <laughs> Honky Max just like, thank Christ. Yeah, Chris Lanham, that was a fall from grace. Used to like him as well. Like, uh, it was... It was so annoying. It was like, you fucking idiot. Like, the whole Chris Lanham thing. Because Chris Lanham was always really good um, as an actor, as a comedic actor. Like, he, um, people like us help. The thing he did with Paul Whitehouse, which was superb. And apparently was the thing that he got done, like, re re researching for. And, like, he just done the thick of it, didn't he? he just done the thick of it, like the first series of thick of it. Um, and his star was in the ascendancy. And then, boom, he got done. He got done, and that was that. That's your lot. That's your chips. Who was Chris Lanham? He was a comedic actor. I mean, well, he is a comedic actor, but he does, he's not been in anything. I mean, did Pete ever release the book? No. It was so disappointing. It was so fucking disappointing because I really liked him. And yeah, he was in the um, like the first series of Not the Nine O'Clock News. He was in Kiss Me Kate, if you remember the uh, Caroline Quentin sitcom. He was in that. Bloody Final Fight font. Mmm, cheap shooter ahoy. Everyone's thoughts on Graham Linehan? Freak Shut War, well. I think you can guess what my thoughts on Graham Linehan are, Freak Shut War. Fucking hate. Hatred. Bully. Horrifying person. 
What do I think of Henry getting back on tour? Good fucking luck to him. Good luck to him. He may well do very well indeed. Yeah, this is a bit our type, isn't it? <laughs> Just a bit. Just a bit our type. Indeed, Steve Face. Graham Linehan, Switch McSwitch, became a massive transphobe. Like, literally to the point of bullying, like, trans kids, other people, setting turfs on people online. Just, it it seems to have ta completely, t doing that seems to have completely taken over his life. He's a horrible, horrible person. When, yeah. Went down in the ship. Like, apparently he lost his fucking... I mean, he's lost his wife and kids over it. He's lost his wife and kids over it. Yeah, that was hilarious, Grant. When he got banned from Twitter. Pretty much what J.K. Rowling is doing now. Yeah. Only even worse. Yeah, really. Even his... Even his... Even members of his family have tried to be like... Dude, you've got to fucking stop this. You've got to stop doesn't listen to them. Yeah, couldn't happen to a nice bloke exactly done. What is that sample? I know, right, third fault. Like, why? What is it? What is it? Don't get it. Best thing Linehan has done of late was inspire H upon the guy's trans stream. <laughs> yeah, that's very correct. Does what he did put people off watching things like Father Ted? I can still watch Father Ted. Because, I mean, the trouble is, I love Father Ted. I absolutely love Father Ted. But it's, it's certainly harder to watch. Certainly fucking up, much harder to watch. Like, it's only, there's only so much I can say, oh, it was all, it was all just Arthur Matthews and Dermot Morgan. Only so much you can say that. Yeah, two whites, two face. The link with this and Father Ted, uh, Graham Linehan wrote Father Ted. Or co-wrote. And Black Books and Big Train. My feeling on IT Crowd, I never much liked IT Crowd anyway. I liked some things about it, but it was never a... It was never anything compared with the other, like, ones that I mentioned. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Graham Linhan's gone so far that he's even started fucking palling around with... Okay, take care, Batgirl. He's even started palling around with, like, right-wing YouTube fuckers. Like, I think, didn't he get interviewed by Sargon? Or something like that. Yeah, that one episode of IT Crowd, yeah, that's the point. Yep, yeah, Badre, that's very true. You have the same issue with Father Ted that you have with listening to old Queen's Reich. Came about how much of a massive cunt Jeff Tay is. I, I don't know anything about that or Queen's Reich, really. Shame, though. Like, Graham Linehan was always a mouthy fucker on Twitter. But yeah, once he started getting into the, yeah, the trans stuff, that was it. <laughs> well, he's still around on YouTube and shit, Badre. Uh, yeah, that's um, anyway, terrible game. Terrible game, that one. Hello, Louis Enrique. Right, folks. Yeah, that game was utterly, utterly pants. Yeah, Patreon kicked him off. I don't I don't know where he's getting his crowdfunding now, to be honest. That election was a complete fucking disaster. <laughs> Wasn't it? Yeah, having a totally normal one, exactly, Dawn. God yeah, yeah, he would he would get so thin skinned about any criticism of his shows. Any criticism. He 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 he'd search for criticism and then shout at the person and then block him. Like, this was, like, back in, like, when the IT crowd just came out. Like, he'd, he'd self-search, one of those who self-search endlessly for mentions of his name. 
I get what you mean, slow motion atomic bomb. I do get what you mean by that totally. Mm. Like it's much harder with it's certainly a, it's I mean as horrible as Linehan is, it's hard to like completely get rid of like something like Father Ted. Whereas it's very easy to get rid of something like Harry Potter, because I never even fucking I never even read Harry Potter. Never even read it. Barely watched the films. I have no connection with it. Uh, the only real connection with it, I went, when I was um, doing teaching, I did get dragged to the Harry Potter studios once, which was nice, actually. Quite impressive props. Yeah, you're not one about that, Duncan. Impressive props and all that. Impressive sides. She didn't make the films, no. In, I mean, a lot of the people who do the films have come out against... His, her shit, to be fair to them. I mean, this is a question that, you know, you you have to balance out a lot of the time. Like, I find it hard to watch... As I mean, I used to love Woody Allen. I find it hard to watch his stuff. <laughs> Louis Enrique, we've had a great surprise this stream. Alien Fish Finger, absolutely brilliant. Like, I find it difficult to watch Willie Allen. I find it difficult to watch Roman Polanski. And they're way more fucking talented than Graham Linehan or J.K. Rowling never will be. But I still f really struggle to watch them now. Like, I did watch them when I was younger, but getting older, thinking about it is like... Uh... <laughs> right. Shall we um, move on to lighter subjects? I think we have, I mean, not just because we're, yeah, maybe just getting a bit heavy. Yes, as long as Captain Birds are remains pure, couldn't agree more. Yeah, your understanding of things changes as you get older. Yeah, exactly. Wrestlers, I mean, geez. That's a whole other fucking can of worms. <laughs> Depressingly true, Budre. <laughs> Let's talk about a lower low cut in fun. Well, we've got a pretty poor one coming up, folks. We have now the Amiga port of Altered Beast. That's what we've got coming here. Which, uh, if memory serves me right, this is really not good. Like, this is really not good. This is Activision. Oh yeah, I was going to check how many games on Telepidia, wasn't I, Stu Face? I will check for you. It'll be a while before we get there, then. Uncle Albus, Captain Birdseye. <laughs> oh, hello, everyone. Hello, Dill. I'm I'm a sailor now. What, weren't you a sailor before, Albert? <laughs> oh, I, 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 I do fish fingers. I do the fish fingers, Dill. <laughs> Oh, pull the other one, Granny. No, no, look, there's me on the telly now. Oh, you can get bird's eye fish fingers. I love them down at the L and the flat. We love them, dear. Rodney's favourite food. What? Bloody no. During the war, yeah. During the war, I discovered the fish finger. <laughs> yeah. I, oh, God, I almost forgot to put in a do in the war. Thank you, Duncan. That would have been criminal. I imagine that it's going to be Viking Mank. I imagine it's going to, this version might be the same as the Atari ST version. It might be exactly the same. <laughs> During the war. During the war. <laughs> Rise from your grave. Rescue my daughter. No in-game music. That's a, that's a criminal thing already, isn't it? Del Boy called him Captain Birds on the top. Oh, yes. Are they alien, Albert? Yeah, no, slow motion atomic bomb. Horrible news, that. Poor, poor blighter. No voice sample, no music. This, this sadly, this reeks to me of ST Port Dawn. Reeks of the stuff. God, this is fucking shit. 
Uh, no worries, Grassomaniac. I, mean, I, think, I think a couple of your messages have um, been um, picked up by the auto mod. I think that's the only reason why. It's a shadow of the altered beast. <laughs> My god, this is fucking terrible. Yes, I did, Matt. Needless to say, I didn't buy anything. It was like a fucking tenner or something for a little bloody bottle of that butter beer, I think. Well, not, not that I was going to buy anything anyway, but... This version does have music. Oh, it must be a thing where I can in... There must be a button to trigger the music. But I assume you have to do it before the game. Voice justice. Voicey justice. Look at this shit. <laughs> Punch the fucking... Oh, oh my god, I, ca I can't even get to the bloody wolves. 50 pounds for a scarf, bloody Nora. Money hand over fist. I mean, there are some fucking impressive things. I mean, the most impressive thing at those studios, to be fair, like purely, not from a Harry Potter perspective, I couldn't give a fuck, but um, from that like, filmmaking perspective, was seeing like the, um, the um, sort of miniature model they had of Hogwarts that they would use to like film all like the shots of, that they used to film like the shots from like Hogwarts, like aerial shots and shit. They used this massive model. And it looks fucking great when you see it. And it's like, bloody hell, they use this for, like, the filming. Fucking hell, this is horrible. I don't think I'm even going to be able to get to the first boss. Oh, hello, here we go. Oh, I still look the fucking same. The UK's best model village, I... <laughs> I mean, Altered Beast is a game, like, in its proper version, I have a soft spot for. But yeah, this is, um, this is not the best representation of Altered Beast, is it? Hello, Iconoclism. Yeah, I mean, there were some pretty cool things there, to be fair. And hey, because I was, because we were, I, we were, you know, I was, you know, helping to manage kids and that, it was free. So, you know, can't complain about that. It was totally free. <laughs> Didn't pay any fucking money. Is this the ST version? It's exactly the same as the ST version. God, this is... <laughs> this, honestly folks, this might be one of the worst games we've played so far. Like, this is right down there. Fuck off! Come on, get him! Finally, fuck! Jeez. Altered worst, yeah. Pretty much dead on the money with that one. This is definitely worse than that one. <laughs> Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to the Mint. We've got some good questions lined up for you tonight, and we've got an interview with the lovely Lisa Scott Lee. Oh, I hope that you enjoy the action. By the way, all the games are with so that we get all the money. <laughs> yeah, this is hideous. Altered Beast was on the Specky San Vega. And to be honest, I mean, that version's not great, but it's better than this. Are there any games based on Treasure Island? There's a Specky game based on Treasure Island, yeah. Budgery. Marlene! At their best, what was more powerful, Amiga or Mega Drive? Hmm. I mean, A1200 is more powerful than Mega Drive, for sure, I think, isn't it? But it's close. Like, it is close. Like... If you when you start yeah when you start getting in like the upgrade zone on a base level they're pretty similar. Yeah, 
enough of this shit. Absolutely horrible. Right, um, Stu Face. Right, so from Altered Beast, let's see how many games to Lapidia. 7, 8, 19, them 12. Twenty five to Lapidia Stu Face. So we should be playing it. We should be playing Lapidia next week. Right, next up we have a game called Altered Destiny, which looks like a point and click adventure. How many games until American Gladiators? Um five. Right, this looks like a point and click, so we probably won't be spending too much time with this. <laughs> yeah, we'll be playing the pig in 2026. Fast Twitch Gamer, thank you for following. Welcome to the Ranks of the Damned. Yeah, Aloha Aloha has definitely not been the worst game of the evening. That was much worse. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not doing that. Yeah, let's, you need a dessert. Let's finish off this stream with Apudia. Any chance of playing Amber Star before Amber Moon, or is that not allowed? Are we going to get through the game? Are we going to get enough into those games, Grant, for there to be any point in doing that? No, I have to ask. Because <laughs> I know that those are like RPGs. Um, a certain shape. Hmm. Not generally. I mean, the closest I've come, and and the fellow is um, and the fellow's a good guy who's um, yeah, get on with it. Um, yes, skip intro. Um, and the fellow is like someone who's um commented a lot on stuff before. Um, Michael Latham, like who's a really cool guy. Like I'll preface that immediately. He did get a bit um because I gave Green Dog. When I did like the Kimblitz, I gave Green Dog a bit of a sniffy remark, and he he wasn't like mad about it. He just came to the game's defence quite heftily, like. But um, actually, it's funny. Like a kind of epilogue to that was um, when Slope, when Dan Slope did the like complete history of Green Dog, he got in touch with Michael, and it turns out Green Dog's quite um, a game that was quite close to his heart. Because apparently the guy, the guy, the lead like guy who made Green Dog actually um, passed away quite young, like not too long after making it. So the game's and and he and he and like Mike Latham were like best friends. Mike Latham is also, by the way, he's the same guy. He was one of the leads on Eternal Champions, and also Slaw and also Ton of the Fat Man. <laughs> Hello, Mecha Godzilla. And hello, Phil's Babylon as well. We're doing all right. We've played for a lower low. We've enjoyed it. Well, the, the, the stream enjoyed it. Right, what are, we, what are we doing? Can I talk to you? Can I do anything with you? What can I do? Space. Hello. Hi. Nice weather we've been having. Um... What are you selling? I don't know the word selling. Um, I skipped the intro. Yeah, of course I did. Could be. <laughs> um, what's what to buy? I found too many verbs in that sentence. Fucking hell. What have you got? I don't know the word have. I hate text adventures, folks. I really fucking do. I hate them. Hate them. <laughs> um, buy. What do you want to buy? Um, broad sewed. I don't know the word broad. Makes a cup of tea, Turkish. Oh, you take sugar? No, thank you, Turkish. I'm sweet enough. 
<laughs> it was two minutes, five minutes ago. Fuck me till I fart. I don't know the word till. <sighs> Fuck off, you cunt. That sentence made no sense to me. Kill Jester is genuinely one of the funniest. <laughs> I love Welcome Kill Jester. Ah, oh, boy, Lewis, thank you for gifting the sub to Kabuta 48k. Kabuta 48k, please take a seat in the Fight Palace. I'm gonna fucking knock you out. <laughs> punch. I don't know the word punch. Fucking hell. Hit, 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 alien. Fucking, oh, bloody Nora. Just, just say fuck. Fuck. Watch your language. There could be adults present. Enough. Yeah, can't, I, we can't play much of that. <laughs> Ask him about Loom. Hello, I'm E.T. I want to tell you that there is actually... Everyone knows of the game that I released on the Atari and they put it in the desert, but it's a Game Boy Advance game. It's so much worse. It's not good. It's fucking shit. I did not know that, Padre. Yeah, I love it when Texas Adventures games are like, what's your language? Some games are so fucking bastardy about it. like there's some I'm sure there's some Spectrum Text Adventures that'll literally as soon as you put fuck in, they'll they'll go back to, they'll crash to basic. They just go, nope, pff, gone. Be good. Or they'll game over you. Like they'll game over you straight away. It's like, nope, we're not having that. And game over. Right, next up folks. We have a game based on Spider-Man, Spider-Man, shows whatever a spider can. I know, right, Mega Square? <laughs> Psycho Sid hosting 3, 2, 1 and explaining the final riddle. <laughs> you want to play a game? You want to play a game? 3, 2, 1. That's what we're going to do. We've got these two people here. They have half, half the men that I am. But they've been good, so clearly I have half the brain that they do. Now, this is the final riddle. Get it right. Don't treat me like a jackass. <laughs> Spider pig. I've never played this game, so this is a this is the Amiga game based off Amazing Spider-Man, folks. It's by Accolade. He'd be brilliant on Celebrity Squares. Nintendo censored the word fun bags. They're no fun anymore. <laughs> Classic presents Spider-Man. <clears throat> Hello, hi sir. Um, you've missed, well, you've missed Hello, Hello, haven't you? Or did you miss Hello, Hello? I can't remember. Sorry. Um, you missed Altered Beast, which was dreadful. Was the Hitchhiker's Guide text adventure on the Specky? I think it was. It was, a, it was a port from the Infocom one. On PC. Sid wasn't a bad primer, he just flubbed his lines a lot of the time. This is true, Numbers of the Beast, to be fair. Brought to you by Oxford Digital Enterprises. Oh, for exactly late. Right. 
Yeah, what is this music? This music isn't... Like, it's not even trying to be like the Spider-Man music. <laughs> Which is a bit fun. Cunt off you, slag. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I mean, I guess her hair's... I think I would get her hair being brown, but I wouldn't know about her fucking eyes. Mary Jane's hair colour is... I thought that said Blige, but it was like, Mary Jane Blige? Oh, right, Jesus fucking hell. Play the game. Oh, hello. Oh, look, tiny Spider-Man. Tiny Spider-Man. Teeny Spidey. Oh, hello. Interesting. Helicopter is an elevator. Yes, that's a lovely browse you've got on, Mary. Yes, I mean, yeah, the adult questions I Quite a funny touch, that, to be fair. Why do you... Why does Spider-Man belly flop like that? Like, when he's... Bum, 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 bum. This, uh, hmm. Right, what are we doing? Yes, Hallow Rock sells I. Right. So, what do we get up here when. Nope, he's just fallen down. Right, okay. It does control very slowly. Right, stand up. No, stand go stand up on the bloody f there like that. Right, can can we get through this door? No. Fuck's sake. Right, okay, fine, fine. I can shoot a web upwards and swim. Ah. Why can't... Ah, so it can do that. So, like... We can go up here, can we? Yes. And then... Okay, maybe not that. Yes, he goes face downward and falls on his dick. Very smart. He's a smart spidey, a south spidey. Right, can I... S can I s swim from... Give me more hey, now we're in here. Steetech Gaming, thank you for following. Day. Welcome to the ranks of the damned. Ah, hello. Hello there. Oh, no, it's gone off again. What? What the fuck are you doing? Who's laughing? Yes, high speed falling on your coccyx action. <laughs> I can also activate sp switches with my web. Oh, what's the? Am I on a con? What? The unresponsive Spider-Man. Ah, great! I have opened up another switch over there, and now I have to go all the way, very slowly. <laughs> no worries, Duncan. <laughs> Very, very slowly G go here. Ouch. Yeah. Oh, apparent. No, apparent. No. Look, the big Spider Man picture is a health bar. 
Arcturus. Shock of Horrors. Right, so having done that, is the other door open now? Benefactor Spy Edition. See, normally, you know me, I normally like games with, like, small artwork and shit. But that's kind of one of my hints. That's one of my fins. This isn't great, though. Hey, we're in a different bit. This feels like a freaking Spectrum game or shit and some shit like that. Like, it really does. He should have picked a less shit finisher. Yeah, he should have. Yeah, it's just, it's just, like, when you're just generically walking around, it's really fucking slow, isn't it? Like, it's so slow. And, um, why are we suddenly in this? Like, what is this now? Right, so we've, we've done him. And now what? <laughs> Hey, Ruffle Bricks! Hey there, dude. How you doing, mate? Thank you for the raid. Thank you very much for the raid, mate. Hope you will. Had a, hope you had a good streamage. Yeah, the Bat game game. The map. The the Batman game is so much better. This is a. Uh, this is not good, is it? Let's face it. This is rubbish. <laughs> it's certainly not Spider-Man PS4. I heard that was really good. That no, not played it, but I've heard it's very good. Yes, the famous Bouncy Moon Spider-Man villain. Right, so next up we have... Oh, actually, funnily enough, you were saying play Amber Star before Amber Moon. Amber Star comes up first. As I say, like, right. So Amber Star is next up. It's an RPG, so we're not going to be able to do much here, but it is a classic, as many, many, or at least many people say it is. It's going good, dude. Thank you for coming along. Game by the almighty Falian. So, I suppose focusing on that, I suppose the question is, is the PS4 Spider-Man better than Spider-Man 2 on PS2? Give me more soldiers, noble leader. Cy Heverington, thank you for following. Welcome to the ranks of the damned. Like, that's the golden question, really. Because Spider-Man 2 on the PS2 is a classic. You want a button to do a Spider-Man poo? <laughs> Valiant did indeed create some mighty fine Amiga games. Motherfucking Lionheart. No second prize. Iconoclism would lean towards PS2. <laughs> that's the that's the thing. That's 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 true of a fair few um, Spectrum games, Frodo. The loading screen's great. Shame about everything else. Hey, Hank Nyborg worked on the graphics for this. It was indeed Sam Vega. <laughs> you fucking hate Spider-Man, the little shit. <laughs> little shit. Jochen Hibble did the music. Fucking legendary folks. Loading do. So, so our fella here, his parents are dead. The rumours that Phelan were named after for Lidamide were unfounded. <laughs> yeah, that music's lovely, isn't it? Yep, yeah, it did, Amiga Square. Lionheart is something else. Right, and uh, here we are. And just happily control using the keypad. Ouch. The Graveyard of Twin Lake. Actually, it's actually faster to use the mouse. Playing as Barry Gibb. <laughs> so, are those fins anything? No, okay. 
this combat first person don't really know us yet. Let you know when you actually get into a fight. I know who's that. Um, is that just a gravestone or? The music's beautiful. Oh hello. His um, night has fallen. Well, I suppose we can we can just get out of here, can't we? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> I like how you collide the wall just goes ouch. I'm an idiot. Radiohead's Just Music video just came on the telly. Did it? Bloody hell. What music station are you watching, Leo? <laughs> that shows just still. Have you just not have you just not like just got a tape of like MTV2 from like 1999 or whatever, I mean. What was this? Is this my house or is this my beautiful house? Is this my beautiful wife? No, clearly not. No traps. Yay. Clearly this is not my gaff. Did we ever find out why the bloke laid down? <laughs> it's obviously for a good reason, wasn't it? <laughs> you do it to yourself, you do. And that's it really hurts. Yeah, this is not my wheelhouse, Sam. That's very clear. I don't know anything. I mean, well, I've heard that the film is... um That film is a very typical... One of those typical cringy French films. That's like, I don't know, friggin'... I don't know, like, Bez Moi, something like that. Something about opening hours with a friendly kick helps you back in the street. Why? I want to go to the pub. Look, it's past 10 pm. It's past 10 pm. Not allowing anyone in. <laughs> the Underquaker. <laughs> I love this music, though. When nice little sunrise. You found a few tapes of MTV2 for TV. Oh, cool. Nice. I love shit like that. Welcome to our guild. What can I do for you? What may I do for you, sire? Failure needs for the next level 30 ip. Eep. So all this seems lovely, but um, obviously we can't really play too much more because we need to get on. But yeah, that's a bit of Amstar. Ray Stokes, that name wins a bell. Um, and there's a sequel as well, which we're going to have a look at now, called Amber Moon. Oh, hello. Amiga launch task failed. Try the WHD load version. I don't have all required files. What? Um, how do I not have all required files? What was the version you were trying to load from? Oh god, Richard Blackwood. <laughs> oh, I need to find a pre-configured hard drive, minimal workbench v3.1. Well, there's a hard drive in here. Um, 
I think I'm going to have to go back to Amber Moon later. Because I just don't have time to sort this shit out right now. God, Scuzz. Yes, I remember that. Oh, um, channel news. Uh, TV channel news. I don't know if you guys saw the news. And I don't know how much you might be into this. But um, the news a few days ago. Channel U's coming back. Channel U, if any of you remember that. Mm. I guess Budge Rider particularly like Russell Brand. Channel U was a cool channel back in like the mid 2000s. And it was like, it was a grime channel. And it was cool because all the artists on there were like unsigned, like back in the day. Like, so you had like early stuff from uh, DEE, JME, Skepta. You had like a lot of like crews, like Lethal Bizzle. All sorts of people like that, sort of back in the day, like before they became like really famous. And, and just, it was cool because like it was all, it had a cool like homemade sort of vibe. It was so, it was completely different to like every other channel, every other music channel. Completely different. So I loved it. Like sure, some, not all the music was great, but you know, it was, it's a good way to see like the start of some, you know, the beginning for some legends. I mean, I'm a... I'm a bit of a grime fan, so... A bit of a rap fan, generally. <laughs> Rapture TV, yeah. But yeah, I used to watch Channel for you all the time. Late 90s Bravo with ECW. Right, unfortunately, Amber Moon is just not working. I'm missing something. I don't know what... Um, which is unfortunate, but... We, to be honest, we wouldn't have been able to play an awful lot of it anyway. Did he really, Stuart? So we're going to have to move on, because we've still got about 50 minutes. Say that, V. That sucks, though, because it's quite a famous game. Yeah, Koran TV is still going, isn't it? Blackpool Grime featuring Coral Island. <laughs> yeah. Blackpool Grime Media. Little T. So next up, we're going to be playing Amigas, which is an Arkanoid type game. Yes, a big ass, Sam Vega. Yeah, intro music's quite cool, isn't it? Guido Bartels wrote this. Didn't a certain YouTuber start on Rapture or one of those channels? You thinking of Guru Larry? Like, Larry, well, I'd, he might have been on Rapture TV, but um, he was on Game Network, the game Guru, and X League. I'm also betting this will not be as good as Batty. I mean, basically, this is Arkanoid. It's quite, it moves quite fast. Perhaps too fast, in fact. <laughs> yeah, I'm using the mouse. Yeah, it's funny, I think you can still, if you search, like, Game Network, at least when I was doing the Games TV video, fucking, and I'm, I'm bad at this. Um, oh my god. Um, I think there was still like games tv stuff around like old games net game network stuff around like people had record one and i'm sure that one of them was like game guru and you can see like a um a young mr larry doing his fan the disney channel died last night ah rest in peace I suppose obviously that's not a surprise is it jeremy clarkson plays carcanoid <laughs> and dogs play barkanoid giga tv third fall interesting what did that sort of what did that do was that like games and shit or like tech stuff techy stuff god this is like super fast arkanoid it'll be interesting to um see what the actual because we do have like amiga versions of arkanoid coming obviously interesting to see how this compares 
It was very much about games. Oh, cool. Hmm, wonder if there's some archives. I always like looking up stuff like that because sometimes those stuff, like if you find like a um, show like that, can be very cool for finding like good archive footage. Little tea wrapping old McDonald. L McDonald at a firm. E I E I O. I'm gonna ban your little sister and fart until she blows. You better watch it, Sophie. I'll take you in your pram. I'll take you down to the Norbert Castle and stab your little nan. Because I'm a badder man. Yeah, this is not batty. Yeah, the Game Network... The Game Network was such a weird channel, wasn't it? It was so weird. Exactly, yeah. You, there are much better examples of this out there. Much, much better. Yeah, it's not a pack on Shuffle Puck Cafe. That's a great game. Okay, that's enough of that crap. Oh dear. Oh dear, folks. Can you get an Altered Beast power up? Power up! Rise from your grave. Never give up. I'm familiar with the famous five, but I'm not familiar with the five find outers. <laughs> Oh shit, it did. Sorry, Numbers of the Beast. <laughs> Sorry, Numbers of the Beast. Thank you for reminding me. Um, oh, actually, no, I didn't, I didn't see it. Um, Welcome to the oh, Sir Lamalot 1980. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the Fight Palace. This game is fucking horrible. Why is Spider-Man so small? And why is he... And why has he just got this rope? It just looks like a white line. I mean, Jesus, this game fucks my farts. It's absolutely horrible. He's moving so slow. Jeez, game designers, get it together. That's not really an AVGN impression. That's more of an AVGN ripoff impression. But you can kind of like, game designers, it sucking fucks, it fucking sucks. It's a load of poopy ass balls. That's an ego raptor doing an AVGN ripoff impression. <laughs> this game's a bunch of poopy ass dicks. <laughs> That's the fun. I'd, if you guys know what video I'm talking about, it's one of the funniest videos on the internet. Folks, speaking of awful games, next up is American Gladiators. So, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> This game's a bunch of poopy ass breakfast. Altered Benet. <laughs> Attention! Rise from your grave. We have some fine chipsticks for you to buy if you just wake up and rise from your grave and go to Benet's of Millbrook, St. Clement's Ghost World, and find price. <laughs> yes, that Game Grumps video, Mickey Mouse Cabade, that video is fucking amazing. That's the best fucking video. Yeah, American Gladiators. Oh dear. I remember like, they used to show this on ITV at like 2am. It's fucking terrible. It was nothing. It was so bad compared to the English one. Shit, now you tell me, Reconda. <laughs> I didn't. I've, I forgot about that. Exactly. The English one had Jet. I mean, who's this? Gemini. <laughs> Thank you, Numbers of the Beast. Turbo. Stop. Can fall backwards onto his ass from the ceiling. Thunder. Right, come on. Enough. Stop. Can I not skip this? Yeah. Can you imagine if Central got it? <laughs> I can play 300 shit games. God, come on! It might well have been Amiga Square. You might well be right now. Why has she just got a football? 
come on. Have I seen the video of Malibu getting racked really hard on one of the events? No. I don't think I have. I remember when, um, was it Zodiac? I just inserted Zig2. Um, got that horrible injury on the pyramid. That was nasty. Was it Zodiac? It was Sharon Davis, wasn't it? So this appears to be the same as the console game. Yes, I've clicked female, come on. Or is it just loading? Come on. <laughs> Engelbert Humperdinck and his telescopic penis. Oh, what are you doing? Um, I think the American version came first, Padre. Right, I've clicked. Yeah, I'm clicking. I'm clicking. Who wait? Right, what are we doing now? Uh, yeah, Hunter. Go on. Hunter was um hunting down Ulrika. And they were frolicking together in the countryside. Uh, why am I controlling this with the mouse? Oh my god. Will you just work properly? Please. Yeah, I can't even get into the game. This is ridiculous beyond belief. Just fucking make it stop. Fucking hell. This is broken. Yeah, Eunice motherfucking hot heart. She was... Eunice hot heart was awesome. The butch, Butcher of Birkendale. Or Birkenhead, rather. Fucking... Right, none of... Oh, right, the mouse is working, apparently. Can you fucking go to the enter button, you cunt? Fucking... Fucking... Look at this fucking shit. The controls of this are all fucked up. I tell you, no, 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 just fuck off. Just fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. I can't even get, when I can't, when I can't even get past the fucking menu. Fuck off. Random alien, thank you for following. Welcome to Langs the Damned. You're not getting it, third fall. <laughs> No, that was Shadow Gratomaniac. And yes, Nick Aldis Magnus was on the revival. Oh dear, dear me. Don't worry, we do have another shit game coming up. We now have American Tag Team Wrestling, which is also a terrible game. Yeah, Shadow was um Shadow was a guy. He had um Shadow had a really shit time of it generally with life. Um, like he wasn't just addicted to steroids; he was addicted to a lot of other things. He's t he turned sh he's turned shit around now. Like I think he um he helps people out like in like rehab programs if memory serves me right these days. He's a lot thinner, <laughs> a lot thinner. But like he got addicted after like before and like before Gladiators, he was addicted to smack. Then he got off it. Then after Gladiators, he got addicted to it again. He had a really shit, shit time of it. Right, this is an awful wrestling game, folks. Yeah, Shadow's presence was epic. Yeah, why is American... Why is it initials? It's a picture of Mr. Perfect and Big Boss Man that's been edited. Ah, yes, look. Look, you can, they've just, they've really jankily added a mask on. If you look, you can see, um, you can see Boss Man's stripes on his trousers. Oh dear. The Mad Corpses, Bob and Dead Frank. Shadow on Jill, you just forfeit and leave. Yeah, he was, you were just going to lose. Guaranteed loss. Look at fucking hell! Look at this. Yeah, you're not one about that, Amiga Square. Oh, I I lost already. <sighs> yeah, 
Right, so... I, I can't even get into the fucking game. Yes, I know, right, Matt, didn't it? Just bold, just like... <laughs> You're gonna die now. Like, there was... There were, like, those guys who just, you know, you couldn't beat. Like, um... Yeah, that... Yeah, I don't even need to play any more of that, do I? Um, like, what was... Like, what was worse, folks? Shadow on Duel or Saracen on Hand Tough? Saracen on Hand Tough was another one. Like, you just couldn't beat him. He was too fucking fast. He just went... And... Gone. <laughs> Yeah, that was fucking horrendous. Fucking Zeppelin. Dreadful. Oh, cheers, Duncan. Get on the wins. Yeah, he was, yeah she was good on the wins, too. I definitely remember like, her, with, for, her for the women, Saracen for the men on that event just being, you know, immediate defeating. Oh, dear. Right, we have really gone downhill in terms of games, haven't we? Yeah, at least Saracen wasn't coked up. Yeah, this is true. And yet not as bad as WWF or European Rampage. True. Or International Championship Wrestling. Like, those are actually worse. Lightning, oh yeah. Lightning and her 80s hair. <laughs> right, next up we have a gun bunch of games named Amiga. We've got a game called Amiga Encounter. Don't know what this is about. Macho Man versus Shadow. <laughs> Battle of Kids first, it'll make them moister. <laughs> oh. Did he? Didn't Wolf decide to play for Jill in the meanwhile? <laughs> Ahmed Johnson versus Shadow. Yes, sadly, yes, we're skipping Amiga Basic, I'm afraid. <laughs> Got Ahmed Johnson versus Shadow. Can you imagine? That'd be a fucking. Beefy brawl and a half. Cousins of yours, Commodore Amiga. Indeed. Amiga encounter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're fighting off. We're going to fight off endless hordes of computers. You wonder what the gladiators are doing now? Yes, he did, didn't he, Skeletor? Yes, Paul Wokes, the wokest of all the Wokes. Even Wokel and Chris Wokes, the cricketer. Armour Johnson would just eat him now, Bob. Yeah, from what I saw, I did see recent pictures of Shadow, because as I said, I, I know Shadow these days helps out um, people who are in, like, he works in, like, rehab programmes, I think. Um, he's a lot thinner these days, whereas Armour Johnson, not so much. <laughs> not so much, Armour Johnson. Mind you, Armour Johnson was, he was, I mean, well, not as fat as he is now, but do you remember when Armour Johnson came into WCW, Big T, in 1999 or so or 2000 and he'd lost all his fucking muscle he was just fat i mean that's me talking he was just fat he was like oh my um what happened to you <laughs> what happened to you matey <laughs> oh hello Ooh. So this is a C64 game, I or it originally was. I see. So we've got to shoot down the um, enemy ships. This seems good. Certainly a lot better than the last few games we've played. I like that you can just ricochet fucking bullets around. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we're not afraid of the big bad wolf. I, I remember that Viking. He was such a good heal. It kind of makes you wonder, be intrigued, like, because obviously Wolf, like, by the time... Like, Wolf was pretty old by the time Gladiators came around, wasn't he? Oh, shit. Like, Wolf, I think, was, like, he was 40-odd by the time Gladiators started. Or, like, certainly not his mid-late 30s anyway. Like, you wonder how he'd have done if he'd actually got into wrestling. Because he, really, he was really good at playing heel. Older Michael Van Wyck. Yeah, 
I think that is that is to that I'm, I've heard that done. That he 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 wanted to be more of a character. He wanted to play like heel. Yeah, it's a bit like Battle Zone, Numbers of the Beast. It's a bit challenging. An Arab, an Arabic version of Gladiators on in eleven two thousand and nine. Hello. Well, mind you, the IT, the the newest ITV version was like two thousand five, two thousand six. So not that. So only a couple of years before that, Badre was there like a ITV revival. Yes, indeed, he is Badre um, Viking, along with me, Maria Ritka. That'd be quite cool, Rekondo. This isn't bad. Yes, it was Sky, Matt. You are correct. It was Sky 1. This is alright. I mean, it's not not brilliant or anything, but it's okay, I guess. Better than the last few games we've played, I'll tell you, say that, that's for sure. It's like a 3D game, Sam Vega, and you've got to just, like, shoot the opposing ships who are firing, like, yellow balls at me. Like, Obviously, it's a bit cheap looking, but I, I imagine this is like some sort of PD effort, so it seems all right. It's okay. Attack of the yellow pinpoint balls. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of like Battle Zone. <laughs> right, next up, we have a game that looks like an IK ripoff Amiga Karate. Paintball 3D. Well, it's not as bad as Extreme Paintball, let's say that. Amiga Karate, everybody. You reckon this will be bad, Sam? This looks like a Nike way of the exploding fist knockoff, just from the screenshot. Paradox, not Lee Paradox. An American Gladiator movie off the ground. <laughs> How weird. Shut up. Mike Montgomery. Ooh, hello. Yeah, I am popular, Panny. Mike Montgomery, as in Lee Mike Montgomery, as in Bitmap Brothers Mike Montgomery. Ah. Suddenly, things are looking up. Wolf turns up, upsets an American child and gets sued. John Cena is a Marine. What happened? A marine showed up, that's what happened. Yeah, my phone's fucking turned off now. My phone's run out of puff, I need a new fucking phone. Need a new phone, need a new computer. Ugh. Right, how do I start this game? What was that? I'll take care, Frodo. Yeah, send me you old Nokia's. Nokia's. Hmm, okay. Hmm, suddenly one's quite quickly, doesn't it? <laughs> we are live at the National Indoor Arena here in Birmingham. I'll be getting it for more than Spelunky Do 2 Century Edition. <laughs> but yes, I will be getting a 3080 with my new PC, yes. 
I'm going to be doing a PC specialist build. I don't know if this game's running too fast. It seems like it's running too fast. Like they're very um, hyperactive, aren't they? But then, obviously, this was a pretty early fucking game by these guys. <laughs> the commentator on Gladiators. Oh god, what was his name? What was the name of the commentator? This should be running on Power Condo, yeah. <laughs> JCVD didn't bloodsport come to this game. <laughs> god, John Sachs. That's it. Thank you. Yeah, this is way sped up, isn't it? Like, way, way, way sped up. Um, I don't know. Um, oh, bloody hell. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. Uh, looks like you just knocked the guy out there. Um... This is obviously, I, I used to do things a lot more legit than this than when I was filming the blood sport. The um, blood sport. Ah yes, tell us the millionth story about you filming blood sport, JST. Yes, well obviously uh, I was with um, Bolo Yun, who was a legitimate art martial artist. He he didn't think too much of me, so um, we, um, we had a fight one day and um, what I did was I, um, I gave him a kick in uh, the uh, liver and... He went down like a, you know, the proverbial bag of tears. Ah, uh, did, did he, did he, did he, John Cole, did he? Yeah, yeah, he totally did, totally, totally. And, um, and it was from that that uh, I got uh, the role in a Universal Soldier. And that was how my, um, career went off. And, um, and I just did the, um, yes, I did the splits. And, um, because in celebration, and I was, I was very happy. <laughs> yes, well, thank, thank you for your input. Jean-Claude Lair, um, expert in sight, I'm sure you'll agree. Hmm, are you man enough to fight with me? Uh, yeah, this is so-so, very early game. Ah, oh, this next game is going to be good, it's called Amiga Poker. Jeez, let's get this over with quickly, shall we? <laughs> yeah, this is true, Budre Bally. Steven Seagal, yeah. Steven Seagal's just a fucking asshole. CS, yeah, sorry, Pixels is on you, Mr. Lower Low. What do you mean, oi, third fool? Steven Seagal's a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> who wants to go home? Or who wants to go with me? Alpha Justice is a classic. Oh, yeah, I'm not disputing the films. Uh, no, this, isn't, this doesn't look like strip poker to me, Dawn. I think we're okay on that front. <laughs> I'm not disputing the films. I mean, I love Out for Justice and Under Siege and all that, but um, the guy himself is a cunt. Deprotected by anti tracks. <laughs> That's pretty awesome, Budre. Budre, I mean, they used to do that a lot with like, the Luchadors, didn't they, in Mexico? They starred in films. He's an epic dickhead, always was, always is, is now as well. Only now he's like a spokesman in Russia or whatever. <laughs> Waving your arms around a bit. Steven Seagal's version of martial arts these days is to get filmed in close-up and then let the stunt double do it for you. Yeah, he lives in Russia these days. Ah. Ah. Right. Given. Uh, which one of these means deal? Ah, here we go. Steven Sigalski. <laughs> yes, he's going to take over the board using his hammock face, exactly. Right, um, how do we actually start? Hey, there we go. Boop, 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 boop. Um, hold... Uh... I'll hold a lot of them. I've got a flush.
two pair. We'll have to move if they could just release a video about Steven Seagal. Incoming CPC people, oh dear. Oh dear, here they come, and we're playing a very exciting game of Mega Poker. Oh yes, let's uh, hold a queen. <laughs> yeah, let, he's he's such a prat. I'm not surprised by that at all, Viking Mank plays. No, yeah, this is... yeah, that's enough of that. Did they ever make a game of a Seagull movie? Uh, actually... Hey, hello dudes, hello Zypho and twins. Um, there was a... yeah, there was a... How you guys been doing, Zypho? I've been doing a bit of the marbles. Oh, hello, RMC. How you doing, Neil? Happy birthday for tomorrow, matey. Hello, all of you lovely folks. Hello, Eversip Paneer, Dave Velociraptor. But yeah, the only Steven Seagal game I can think of is that cancelled one for the SNES. The final option. Could Seagal beat Alan Sugar? <laughs> Probably not. Right, you've joined us just in time for a bit of Amnios. We've got a Psygnosis game coming up, everybody. Even in Jez Dukes. <laughs> You're fucking fuming after marble, Savasip Paneer. Fucking fuming! I'm sorry, Zypha, you have missed a lower low, I'm afraid. That's how I always pronounce it, Ruffle Bricks. Psygnosis. Too much Alan Sugar, you'll get Alan diabetes. <laughs> Ah, oh, sorry, Zy. Sorry, dude. You can always, you can always get. The, there will be the vault. There'll always be the vault. I'm afraid. God, yes, Hybus. Isn't that fucking um? Isn't it fire down below or something like that? Where he's like, he there's a whole bloody segment of him screwing around on guitar. It was yeah. He's got he, he's like awful like blues bullshit horrible, and he's got his and he had his energy drink as well. Steven Seagal's lightning bolt. Which apparently tasted somewhat. I've, so, I remember someone did a really hilarious review of it, like back in the mid two thousand. Just said, essentially, said it tasted like um, you just like drinking an ashtray. <laughs> it tasted like cigarettes. <laughs> Steven Seagal's lightning bolt energy drink. Amniokes. He sang with Jimmy Cliff for one film. Jesus fucking hell. That's like... That's like if you got... I don't know. Fucking... That's like if you got Robert Plant to sing with the Shags. <laughs> It'll put tar in your lungs. <laughs> God, the Shags. That's a, that's a brand I've not heard in a long time. Um, no, this is not a poker game, Pixels of Dawn. <laughs> the ultimate conflict to fight or die and all life is in your hands. Ah, just another day then. Yes, once again, it is the ultimate conflict. Again. I can't remember if I've played this one. I'm not sure if I have. Oh, RAM expansion found and utilised. Welcome to Amnios. Yeah, let's just surrender. <laughs> the yellow low game is better than the EastEnders. You'll be happy to know, Texy. It's not brilliant, but it's certainly better than EastEnders. Not that that's saying a fuck of lot. Ah, oh, I think I have played this game. I have played this. It's um, this isn't this isn't Psygnosis's best. Yeah, I did play it for my Psygnosis vid. The one that I didn't play for my Psygnosis vid let people 
complained that I missed out was um, awesome. I didn't play awesome. I missed it for some reason. A lot, Grassomaniac. A lot. <laughs> like I think we've I think we've got another like we've got another at least three weeks of A's. <laughs> yeah, we'll be awesome soon enough. Martin65535, thank you for following. Welcome to the ranks of the damned. Exactly, wait until we get to S and T, hell yeah. Have I played any of the Tex Murphy games? Actually no, I haven't. Ooh, Alfida's ain pet worse than EastEnders. Fucking hell. Oh, good night, boy, Lewis. That's a tough one. That's a really tough one. Like, those games are. Those are two horrible beyond belief games. As is Super Grand. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I've, I've heard. I've always heard Under a Killing Moon is the best of the Tex Murphy games. I just never played any of them. You know me in point and click adventures and the like. I'm not very good at playing them. Speaking of which, I did mean to fucking do I Have No Mouth this week, didn't I? Oh well. Yeah, this is a thing, Matt. It's, it's okay. It looks good. But then so does every Psygnosis game. Okay, take care, have a sit. Yeah, the young ones. Like, you don't even know what the fuck you're doing in that game. <coughs> it's racist against Scotland to criticise Supergran. <laughs> like, what am I actually doing? Any interest in that Splunky? A massive amount of interest. I would be playing it by now, but it's Windows 10 only. And I'm still on Windows 8.1. You're going to stream... I have no mouth and Sanitarium, not his recluse. Sanitarium, so I've heard that's pretty fucking heavy going. <laughs> Perhaps not as much as I have no mouth, but... Did it, though, Dawn? Did it? I don't know. I don't know about that, Dawn. I just, I just think... if it, I think Charm... Full-price game, like... A full-price game that you probably wouldn't have um, batted an eyelid if... You wouldn't have batted an eyelid out of of fucking Alfida's own pet if it appeared on cassette fifty. <laughs> <That's what> it did. <laughs> like if it appeared on cassette fifty, you'd just be like, ah, oh, okay. <laughs> Am I supposed to hit this? The Minder game on the spec in CPC. I've tried to play that. I can't. I don't get it. To be honest. Yeah, there's. I've, I have been shown. I know there's a way. I kind of close them. Someone showed me a way that you can actually still download Windows 10 um, from like legitimately, um, which is cool. And that, although I'm going to be upgrading my PC soon, like pretty soon. So probably just going to wait it out. Just, just in case installing Windows 10 screws up my computer screws up this computer and then I can't work because you know I've got to think about things like that Frank Spencer telling us Courtney killed Kurt <laughs> oh dear I've just been reading on the internet Betty about you know that Kurt Cobain he um he went and um put the yes yes I know I know he, he was he didn't he didn't do that himself he was murdered he was murdered I'm not on Windows 7 though, Zypho. I'm on Windows 8.1. I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. I can I can wait the couple of weeks or so until I upgrade. He was murdered by his wife, Courtney Love. I don't get what I'm doing here, I have to say. <laughs> I don't understand. I know why. Right? That is amazing. North East Recluse. Shadow One. SNES Shadow One I've heard is very good, but my jam was the Mega Drive Shadow One, which is amazing to me. Right, I think we've got time for one more game this evening, folks, and it's another Psygnosis game, and it's Anarchy. I've always wanted to really, well, I mean, aside from the games aside, Budger, I've always wanted to get into Shadow and stuff. I mean, I know the games. 
Uh, Nick, I'm going to be getting a new PC. It's new PC time. I mean, the thing with the PC I've got at the moment, it's been a very faithful servant for five years. Um, I can't really do much upgrading on it because it's a mini. Like, it's a real, like, mini, tiny, tiny box. So I couldn't, like, if I, like, a new graphics card, I couldn't fit a new graphics card into it. They're too big. <laughs> so, like... I'd have to fucking, like an upgrade would essentially just be fucking getting a new case and putting all new stuff in there anyway. So yeah, it's new PC time. I'll be going to PC specialist and sorting out, sorting it out. But yeah, this, um, this PC, actually this PC will still um, stick around, I think. Like I was thinking oh, it would stick around, I'd probably use it as like a media center. You know, those old things. <laughs> Just use it, like, stick it in a, a lounge or something and it's so, like, can fucking... It'll work great to just watch YouTube or something on, like, on the sofa or whatever. That's, like, how, how I'm thinking about shit in my head, like, when I move. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Awesome will be on next week's stream. No chance, Ricondo. No chance. Awesome's another couple of weeks away, at least. As I say, there's a lot of games named day. And we get for about 30 in a stream. Right, one more game, folks, and that's Anarchy. Anarchy! There be Anarchy! I mean, not necessarily like a media centre as they used to be, but you know what I mean. Like, you know, just watch YouTube on it. That sort of thing, because I'm probably not going to get a fucking TV box or anything shit like that, aside from Freeview. Me! Like, a PC like this still might even be good for streaming, you know? Although, I'd probably do that with the new one, actually. <laughs> Annals of Rome next stream. Oh, dear. So this looks like Defender, doesn't it? I've no idea if I can make players. Gonna have to see who's on. I'm gonna have to see who's online. Would you steal a car? You wouldn't steal a car. You wouldn't steal... A house? You wouldn't steal someone's last Rolo. <laughs> so why do you steal a movie? You guys remember Knock Off Nigel? Knock Off Nigel buys Knock Off DVDs. <laughs> yes, this is very much Defender, isn't it? At least it's a lot smoother than Amnius, that's for sure. Yeah, <laughs> you wouldn't test positive for COVID-19 and get the train back home from London to Scotland. <laughs> <sighs> you fucking would steal someone's last one. <laughs> yeah, they stole a fucking music for that advert, which is just ridiculous, isn't it? Like, that is just the per beautiful irony. My favourite WWF game, Telster. Uh, Wrestlefest. Gotta be Wrestlefest in the arcade. Wrestlefest. You know, that one. Wrestlefest. Wrestlefest is the one where you, you fight muscles in sea sheds. If you pirated your car, you'd be driving it and still be in your driveway. Imagine if you could actually pirate cars. <laughs> this is true fin, Stuart. They're not available on DVD and they're not available on streaming services. I'll have a look, um, Viking. I will have a look. Um, I think that is out now, isn't it, Jay's Manchild? I think it is. You'd be pirating the house down from these Jaguar. That's just going to cost you shitloads of money. Mikey1878, thank you for following. Welcome to Langs of the Damned. I mean, if that's a classic Jaguar talk about, I mean, I know they're lovely cars, but... They're going to cost you a fucking shit bomb to keep up with. <laughs> like my 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 great friend, who's sadly no longer with us, a guy called Rick. He had a he had a fucking old Jaguar. Oh my god, he he insisted on having the fucking thing, even though it was too big to fit in any bloody space. Like this like this mad this mad cunt would actually take it into London. Like he took this fucking Jaguar into London. 
all the time. And he always insists that, oh, I know, I know a space. I know, I know a space. <laughs> oh, it's a modern coupe one. Oh, okay. God. And that's if the thing wasn't bloody broken down, which it often was. Lovely fella. But yeah. Too, lo not too much love for shitty old, for old Jaguars. This music is cool. Yeah, now this was a proper old school big fucking Jaguar. You miss the days of being sold DVDs in Burger King by some Chinese businessman. I'll come to South End, that still happens here. Sometimes. Not a bad little game. <laughs> in Wimpy. I don't th I don't think the one my friend bought cost the earth cost the earth Grassomaniac, but then that was probably why it broke down all the time. <laughs> it was probably broken <laughs> when he got the fucking thing. Oh dear. No, we haven't spoken about Wimpy tonight. What is there to say about Wimpy? It's the best burger under the bun. <laughs> get all of Jerry Sadowitz's TV shows. Yeah, get them while they're hot. Get them while you still can. Yeah, there's not a lot of anarchy in this game. It's just a perfectly okay defender ripoff, isn't it? No, that's all it is. Yeah, I know South Africa still has Wimpy all over the place. That's where they're based now. Their Wimpy is based in South Africa. That's why. How much are Jag I don't know how much a Jaguar console is these days. I think it's I think they're a bit expensive these days. I don't know if the games are necessarily expensive, but I think the consoles themselves are. It's okay enough, Grassomaniac. <laughs> Wimpy's more of a religion. <laughs> Okay, I think we're about done with this. Yeah, this is this isn't necessarily as playable as Defender. It's just it's okay. There's probably better Defender clones. Ugh. What did the poor South Africans do to deserve being invaded by Wimpy? Jaguar consoles are quite rare now. The regular Jaguar, I think. Yeah, let's. Fair I thought Vagrant, good purchase there, North East, because I've heard very good things about Vagrant story. Obviously, Toka 2 is a smasher. Like, Jaguar CDs are, they're very expensive these days, because a working one's rarer than hen's teeth. Yeah, I need to get that done, Stu. I'll probably try, I'll try and get that done for this weekend. Just been, not gonna lie, been, um, busy with other stuff. Oh, hello, what are you doing, you? Right. So, what have we got coming up next stream? Yeah, Jaguar emulation is terrible vid gold, unfortunately, which is a shame. So, next stream, what have we got? We're going to be starting with a game called Anatomic Man, which just looks like a generic shooter, to be fair. We're going to have Ancient Games in the next stream. Oh, we have a very big one coming up next stream. Very, very big one. Can you guys guess what it is? Seeing as we're on AN. Guess what's coming up next stream? Yep, Dev Reacts got it. Another World will be on the next stream, so that's obviously your main title. Um, we have a football management game. We've got Anstos. Um, we should, we're definitely going to have a Pidio in the, in the next stream, I reckon, for sure. We're definitely going to get to a Pidio. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, we're definitely, we're definitely having a Pidia. Um, Apocalypse is going to be in the next stream. Apprentice. Aquablast. Aquanaut. The Aqua we should be getting to the Aquatic Games. We're not going to get to Archipelagos as it goes. Dave Velociraptor. There's, um, you forgot about games that have the arcade suffix. Or prefix, rather. I reckon we're going to get... Let me see. Let me count again. One, two, three, four, five, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. We should get to certainly Arcade Paul. Maybe even Mar wait, maybe even Archer McLean's Paul. Yet we're going to have APB Neil. Uh, we're going to have Arabian Nights. That's going to be in the next week's room. So there's going to be some good games. But yeah, we should get to about Archer McLean's Paul. I reckon next week. And then I don't know how long it is till we get to Awesome. A long time. Let me see. How, how many weeks of A do I have, do you reckon? Not tuning in. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure that I'm sure that there'll be some I'm sure that there's gonna be plenty of bad games next week that we've not heard of third fall. Let's see what how long until we get to like the end of A. Gee, still not even really close to the week after that. One, two, six. Okay, I reckon we have about, like, three weeks of A. The final A game is Aztec Challenge, as it goes, a conversion of the Amiga title. People like shit. They do indeed, Hybersa. This is very, very true. <laughs> yes, what begins with A, B? <laughs> Honey. Honey starts with a B. <laughs> oh, really, Amiga Square? I look forward to that. I shall look forward to that. Right, okay. Do stick around, folks, because we're going to pick out someone, see who's streaming. Who's streaming? Who should be raided? Thank you all so much for the follows and subscriptions. The first B game. Uh, the first B game is... Is it Baal? Baal? Uh, no, it's not. It's B-17 Flying Fortress. Yes, another wimpy raid. Oh, yeah, this is going to go on for fucking ages, James Manchild. Uh, Viking Mank plays. Let me see who's on. Only thing is with Kitten Expert, I don't know them. Like, you know what I mean? So, uh, we'll see who's on. Oh shit, yeah, it's Neil's birthday in like 30 seconds. We'll, we'll just um, quickly hand around for that. So it's Neil's birthday in literally 30 seconds. Come on, come on, gotta wait, just gotta wait quickly. Yay, it's midnight by my clock. Happy birthday, Neil. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear cave dweller. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Right. Thank you all for watching tonight, Folkaruskis. I'm going to send you over to, hopefully you'll make it to a low-class burger establishment on this fine day. <laughs> Happy Moon Pig to Neil. <laughs> I think I'll probably send you over. Is he just started? Oh, it's not really started yet. Hmm. <laughs> Roll this card up nice and tight and stick it up your bum. Ah, from all the lads at the Ark Royal. That's a name I've not heard in a long time. What's he up to? I haven't heard that name in years. Viruses, bio 
Uh, just go through the advert. Okay, take care, Viking. Pack the pack as well. We'll do that. Hey, he's getting pissed. I like the look of that. I'm going to send you over to Laser Frog. Who used to do videos on YouTube, cool little weird retro videos a few years back. And then kind of stopped doing them. But now seems to be here on Twitch getting pissed. So we, we, shall, we shall enable that and send a wimpy raid his way. <laughs> He seems to be listening to some rather weird music too. He does seem to be absolutely off his face, so um, yeah, do um, be gentle. <laughs> Just be like wimpy raid, <laughs> Yes, spread the good gospel of the wimpy folks. This one I can link. It's on YouTube. No, you're just kind of afraid, Commodore Amiga. Right, Fokaruskis, I will be back on on Sunday. It shall be a Sunday night, and I will be back on for Ant Stream Sunday. And all shall be good and fun, and all the awesome shit. Thank you all so much for your follows and subscriptions, and generally being fucking awesome. You're all great. You're <laughs> awesome. Right, okay. See you later. Bye. Holy shit. Thank you so much, Kim Justice.